recorded. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Thank you for reminding me. I'm just reverting changes on Rosemary Crosley. Everybody know who she is? No. no. She's a woman who invented facilitated communication. <gasps> oh. In Australia. Richard knows who this is. She died yesterday. So her Wikipedia page, somebody, we just got the citation to create, say she's dead. And now one of her fans is in there making small changes, a little bit, and removing criticism every little moment, every little um, moment. I'm like, all right, I about had it, lady. That's why I got distracted. Nice. How do I, what do I do? I go to, uh, to because it's a single purpose editor. It's one of these people who's never edited anything besides Rosemary Crosley's page. And she keeps like. Oh, I just reverted it and she's unreverted it like seconds ago. Oh, so go to the top and, and request protection. You know, do that uh, to uh, view his. Wait, let me let me find it really quick. Sorry, you guys. It's just real quick. This is interesting. Uh, go to um, Twinkle. Yep. And I do. I hit prod P.R.O. No, that's to delete. Which one's protection? Tag last unlink oh, no, I figure. I, Don't it, do it. If 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 you if you hover over it, it says what it is. So just go to which. One. Okay. Who decides on if the request is accepted? Uh, and then and the oh, request will, page protection. There you go. Okay. S P. And then it'll have a pop up, and it'll ask you why and for how long and all that kind of stuff. So you can. So, you so can, what's? Sorry, I was going to say, what is facilitated communication? Who wants that question? Well, that, that, that could be a whole category. No, somebody somebody could tell really quick. What is it? It's, it's the Ouija board effect. It's That's like using the Ouija okay. board with someone who's communication uh, inhibited because they're um, mentally challenged. And Isn't people that claim that they would be perfectly fine if their hand just moved fine. And so by holding their arm or shoulder or wrist, depending on his, and ha helping them, quote unquote, point at the right letters on the board, you know, then you're just unlocking what they really are already thinking. And amazingly, it comes Hattie's up school. with like, they can write like Shakespeare, even though they've never been to school, you know. Right. That's, right. Right. Yeah. They can know right. what's, being, okay. what's being, they have psychic abilities because they know what the picture is that you show them only if the person is guide, right. guiding right. Right. them. Right. No. And if the, if they, like, yeah, if they show like the, the person who's being helped and the facilitator, the person holding the arm, two separate pictures and ask the guy when they're together, what picture was that? Guess what picture comes out? The one that the, only the facilitator saw. Right. So this woman created it back in Australia 40, 50 years ago. Richard would know. Yeah. So, yeah. We could, we could blame Australia for that as well as Thanks, creationism Australia. Actually, because of the uh, Netherlands, but uh, we like to blame Australia because that's where she is. Anyway, so I just requested paid. I'll try to ignore it for now, but it pisses okay. me off when somebody comes in and starts making changes to Wikipedia page. Mm. They start slowly removing all the criticism and stuff. I mean, she's only been dead a day, but <laughs> you know, mark that she's dead. Change it to past tense. And well, we'll maybe fine. she's facilitating communications oh, through this other person. Oh, mm. Mm. Maybe it's she herself doing it. I only blame Australia for one thing, the Crocodile Dundee movies. Oh, I like that one. Let's I like the first one. one. That's a no I think they did a wonderful job for tourism. So well, you know right. what I did put on the talk page for facilitated communication is somebody tried to add that she had died, woman died, and then they didn't have a citation to prove that she died. I mean, you can't just go in and right. change a Wikipedia page and say somebody's dead. Right. I mean, we do that to lots of people. So um, <laughs> you have to have a citation and the citation has to be a good citation. So somebody did that. And I wrote on the talk page, I said, I said something like, I was trying not to be too snarky, but um, so what I did is I wrote, okay, this is just an offshoot. Let me just write, read what I wrote. It was really quick. I wrote, I'm aware that the, facilitated communication world is buzzing on social media that she died yesterday and somebody has attempted to make that change here on the wikipedia page what they're missing is that wikipedia requires evidence before making that change without getting snarky about the irony of needing evidence i suppose we should have, <laughs> i suppose we will have a quality announcement within a day uh, or two so please be patient everybody. that was that was snarky that was that was just subtle snarkiness that snarky. we need evidence before you can make a change. And I know that the irony is lost on you facilitated people about evidence, but you know, anyway, 
Anyway, Susan, whoosh, leaving, leaving, I'm going to channel back to, back to social media, uh, social, um, social whatever. Trivia. what are we doing? Trivia. Trivia. Oh my God, these people drive me nuts. Okay. Maybe. Well, was everybody very name? nice to you, Lee? I need to ask, were they very nice to you? Oh, who are you asking? In your little group. I don't care about you people. We have a new person. Lee, were they very nice to you? Oh, he's on mute. He's, he's on mute. You're on mute. You're on mute. So oh, there's a little mute, mute button. You come back from your breakout room. Yeah. Do you have it Maybe in the bottom left hand corner of your screen, Lee? There's a mute button and it's muted. So unmuted it. Su Susan, I have a question. Yes. How much does pronunciation count in our trivia? For instance, if one of the answers was, say, for instance, Alexander Solzhenitsyn, <laughs> exact, Alan, do you have to pronounce it exactly correctly? or It depends on the person doing the game. I hope that's right? in your team name. Oh, yeah. God. Then you know Wait, it's were, they polite right. to you? Hmm? were they polite to you on your team? Yeah. Lee? Oh, Lee? That was Mike that said that. I'm asking Lee. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Lee. Lee is a little hard of hearing sometimes. So okay, okay, but were they being polite to you? He's no snitch. They were, they were great. No, there was you. You okay. you picked a great team. I okay, know. very good. Okay, so every time you come back from your room, it's going to be on mute. So you just have to unmute yourself whenever okay. you come back. And the rule is that when the person is reading out their category, the questions that they read out to us in a few minutes, the rule is is everybody's muted. Unless you have something funny to say, then you can unmute. But so that's the rule. All right. So let's that's go. That's why with the I'm always name. muted because I have, I never Vincent have. always tells dad jokes. They're awful. But we love him for it. Anyway. Okay. So I need my, uh, who's my helper today? I, oh, look, here comes Alan. I should make him the helper. No, 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 no. Who has not done it in a while? Let's see. I think Ron's going to do it because he's got that very still, like, I'm, don't move very fast because Susan's going to volunteer me for something. <laughs> no, it's because I've got a cat on my lap. Well, that too. So you're in charge of the trolls and so on now and muting. So I have to mute okay, Susan again? No, not me. Not me. Oh. Okay. So here we go. All right, let's start it. Let's get started with the party we have today. Okay, so this is game 160. So I'm very curious about what what uh, team names you come up. There's not been anything at all whatsoever happening in society and in, in at all. There's no news. So I, I can't imagine where you guys are going to come up with any team names because it's just been the most boring week ever, right? Oh my gosh, I wish things would happen. We'll find out. All right, well, so uh, team number one. Uh, our, our team. Wait. Our team is yeah. pretty boring. Okay, good. Pretty boring is your name of your team, huh? Yeah. All right, so no, the first. No, 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 no. Oh, Adrian, Gail, Faith, and Romero, and Vincent. Is your team name hmm. pretty boring? No. What is it? It's that. Say it. Elon Musk will be self aborted in six weeks. Why six weeks? I don't know. Because that's the fate. The limit. The 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 limit. At the start of Twitter, he's resigning. Oh, he is. He's, he's oh, resigning. Oh, I did not hear that. Oh. As about Seriously? five hours ago, he made the announcement. I mean, he's oh, wow. announced he has a new CEO who will basically. It's not that he will be in charge. Which he jokingly oh. said was his dog. Well, we were going to jokingly say it's George Santos's real identity. <laughs> Thomas John's real identity is George Santos. Come on now, we already know that. All right, so That's team number one. two, Bob, Jamie, Janine, and Carl. We'll, we'll take Trump take... for five million, Alex. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Carl got it, I put it in too. Okay. All right, so Jane in California. Where's Jane in Oregon? I don't know. Ah. Jane I'm in California. Kevin, Rob, and Saunders. What is your team name tonight? Well, we have a mathematical one for you. Here you go. 45 plus CNN equals 47. <laughs> 47. God, you know what? Bill got That's it first. Cool. 
That's yeah. wrong. That is so wrong. I have avoided everything to do with that stupid yeah. town hall that was happening last night. Yeah. Everybody wants to talk about it today. And I've been like, I'm going to I'm going to watch videos of frogs or something today. Anything to keep have to watch. Yeah, why, why would any team name promote Trump? I just don't understand. Yeah, you know, you know what team would do that? The losing team. Jane, Kevin, Robin Saunders. Just telling you. We're not going to lose because we all won't accept the results. <laughs> that's right i i think that remember we sometimes talk about people a lot and then they die yeah yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> oh we're talking about elon musk so yeah mm. lee they've got this Let's they've got this superstition that if they mention people's names Here they'll die because somebody already killed betty white peggy killed peggy white killed mm. betty white so we're betty talking white. about cnn yeah, Rob, what does that mean? So it means that 45, President who was 45, with the support of CNN, is going to make him President oh, 47. Yeah. That's yeah. what I understood that because I didn't. You know, that's why I can't play Wordle. Boo. Is this why my CNN app is broken? What? The CNN app has been broken, and I've been wondering why. It's a conspiracy. That's right. Is it broken, really? Yeah, part of the pages won't load. Oh, well, that's so sad. Okay, Bob, Carolyn, Mike Wolf, Peggy, and Ron, what is your winning team name tonight? The orange jumpsuit inauguration? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. We we'll keep talking about him. We might be able to kill him. <laughs> you know, we're recording. My hat is orange. Uh oh, we're going to be <laughs> Oh, oh. Not. I prefer, okay. I we talk Morbid about humor. Humans. I need it. Okay. Bill, Kyle, Lee, Terry, what is your winning team name? Please. Oh, I see what you guys are doing. Oh. <laughs> oh, you think you're you funny, huh? It, you want to say it, Lee? Or are you well, no, I, I want to hear Susan say it. First. Oh, well, he's getting in right away, huh? Well, I'm, yeah. I'm a rookie, but everybody said give her give a name that she couldn't pronounce. So oh, I'll take care of that. Um, So I, I'll, I'll do it. Hold on just a second. But I just want you guys to know that. Oh, it's oh, oh, it's a llama. Oh, that's sweet. We got a llama here. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Not exactly. Sort of. Okay. Oh, sort wait. Of. Kevin's trying to jump back in. Here we go. Here we go. No fair looking up the word. <laughs> Just type. Hold on a second. She's looking for the pronunciation. Trying to figure out how to pronounce plaintiff. Is this the word that we couldn't pronounce? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, that's bad. I can. I can. I can you know, you Did you guys hear me? No. Did you hear me? No. Okay. So the team name is Guanaco's fine for the plaintiff. Yeah. Guanaco's fine for the plaintiff. Well, no, the G is a horse sound. It's Juanico's. What? Juanico. Juanico's. There's no G sound. Guanacos. Is that who pronounced Guano? Guanacos. Fine. Well, Wouldn't it be Guanacos? Guanacos? Listen. Guanacos. Guanacos. Huevos. Huevos. Jorge. Guanacos. 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 Guan. Guan. It's, it's, it's got a guacamole, guacamole, though. It's not guacamole. It's like guacamole. Guan. Guan. No, is this way. that Jeopardy word? It's, oh it's going to be a late it's, night, I can tell already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's your fault. Okay, so let's get started. So here we are on the 11th of November of 2023. What? What? Oh, no, no. What? <laughs> what? It's 11th oh, of May, 2023, in the year of our Lord, 2023, May 11th. Had six months. And this is game 160 of season three, episode 51. Mm -hmm. 
It is so wonderful to have you guys all here today because this is the last time we'll ever be here on May the 11th of 2023. And the five teams are competing against each other for the bragging rights of game 160 are Elon Musk will be self-aborted in six weeks versus we'll take Trump for five million, Alex, versus 45 plus CNN equals 47 equals, oh, oh, versus Orange Jumpsuit Inauguration versus Wanakos fine for the plaintiff. Alan, why are you pointing Hi, at Alan. Me? Oh, I Alan's got a hand up. I want a team. I want a team. I want a team. Oh, are you going to be, you know what? He's really nice. I'm going to put him on the team with. No, he gets to pick. He gets to pick the name by the name, remember? No, because I have an actual space that I need to put oh. in. Um, so you're going to go on five. All right. Um, I, I got to apologize to my team from last week. I, I fell sound asleep on during uh, the third round, and I and I didn't wake up to the guys. We were all signing off. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody so, noticed. So, <laughs> Susan, <Nobody. laughs> you only had it's a three valid... people on Lee's team. You could not find four or five nice people. Was that why his team was short? Um, you know. No, you said you put the nice people on that team, and then Just and then please. that team was short. We got the message. <laughs> <laughs> we understand. The, the human uh, body needs sleep; it doesn't need trivia. <laughs> I think we need trivia. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm ready to start. You guys ready to start? I think Gail is going to be. Oh, look who's Deborah! How did you sneak in here? Quietly. What? One, two, three, four. How else and, can you speak? Okay, so you're on, uh, Deborah. You're going to be on uh, forty-five plus CNN equals forty-seven. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's where I. That's the way I roll. Okay, Gail. So very excited to know what you have in store for us. I have no clue what you're going to be talking well, about. There's a clue sitting in front of you. If you want. is it chocolate? <laughs> is it is it candy? It is. Chocolate. Chocolate. Hey. Okay. Um, Mike, or not Mike, um, I'm sorry, Ron, can you do the duty? Okay. Hang on a moment. So, um, Lee, everything's going to be in the chat, so you can look at them now, and you'll also be able to look at them during the, <sighs> the, called the breakout room. So, just kind of listen and whatever. And if it okay. wasn't, if it wasn't, if it was, if it wasn't mentioned, of course you can't look it up. But uh, if you happen to have it on your desk right in front of you, chocolate. No, the answers. Oh. Or if you ha if you have somebody in earshot, you can ask them a question. Yeah. Well, we okay. have a book. It has to already be open to that page. Yeah, the book has to already be open to the page. Go ahead, right. Gail. Time All for right. everyone to be moved. Ron. Here we go. The first question is multiple choice, but it's. You got muted, Gail. Did you did you just get muted? Somebody muted Gail. I got muted again. Okay. Um, now I'm not muted. Question one is a multiple choice, the only multiple choice on the whole thing. Although Columbus encountered cacao beans on his fourth mission in 1502 and brought them back to Spain, it was not used in Europe until later when Cortez saw it used by the Aztecs in the court of Montezuma, where it was highly prized drink of the aristocracy. In which of the following ways was this drink different from what we drink today? A, it was very sweet using large amounts of honey. B, it contained spicy chili peppers and other spices. C, it was not permitted to be given to soldiers since it depleted strain. D, it was always served at a very hot temperature and drunk before it cooled down. Or E, these are all true and it should say, wait a minute, I think I wrote it wrong as I'm reading it. it. Only one of those is the right answer because it's the one that is clearly the way they did it. So you're looking for the one that is the way they did it as opposed to the way we do it. Or all of them are the way. How should I change that? So it's, okay. it's not used in Europe that. until later when and which of the following ways is the drink different from what we drink today? Yeah, that's 
I, I would say, that, which is, an, is an accurate way of saying what they drank, which is different from the Which is of the falling ways, just tell me what you want to say. Which of the following ways was this drink clearly different from what we drink today? Okay. Okay, question two. I have to stop changing my mind about these questions. That's how this happens. All right, question two is the true and false. In Mesoamerica, chocolate beans were used as currency. Okay, question three. It's another true and false. There are only two of them, though. Another true and false. Initially, the Spaniards used it as a medicine to treat illnesses such as abdominal pain. Okay, question four. What is the name of the process invented by Rudolfi Lindt in Switzerland in 1879, where an agitator and surface scraping machine make chocolate less gritty when solidified and intensifies flavor, making solid bars desirable? This three-stage process is still an important part of the creation of solid chocolate and was named for the initial shape of the vessels that were used when it was invented. Five. A bitter chemical is found in chocolate and is a major theme in the science fiction writing of Cage Baker, where her part human, part android characters get drunk on chocolate because they are very sensitive to this chemical. What is this chemical? Six. Milton Hershey built a whole town in Pennsylvania near dairy farms to provide his workers with a home near the factory where he planned to make the inexpensive milk chocolate he had learned to make in Europe. But when he started to make the chocolate, he discovered a problem with using that milk. What was the problem? Question seven. M&M, melt in your mouth, not in your hand, was a reason that they were used for what purpose during the early 1940s? And I'll give you a hint by saying that that's where the slogan came from. So it could be used. Question eight. And this one is particularly for the Canadians in the room. Very similar to M&M's, there's a Nestle product that is popular in Australia. So there are at least two people who should know this. What are they called? We're Australians and Canadians. They're expected to know everything. <laughs> if it comes to this. We're making sure that they that they yeah. have a, a question no, they can answer when it's no all pressure or anything. But you know, we assume you know everything. They know this one. Okay, question nine. What country is famed for its chocolate with the companies Newhouse, Godiva, and Leonidas? And question 10. What country was the biggest consumer of chocolate per person in 2022? That is per person. Okay, questions? Okay, Ron or Gail, can you send us to our rooms? Uh -huh. And I will put those two people who are in, need to go into rooms, in the, three people into the rooms right now. And I will be over in room one in a moment. Alan, you are going to go five. Deborah, you are in 45 CNN. Kevin, you are in also room five CNN. Yep. 
tried. Are you think two is true? Oh. What'd you try? Yeah, two is true, but I don't know if this E is true. Uh, that's no, my, my, my oh, two. Oh, I thought it might be true. I don't know. I think they're all true. I think they're all true too. Except that she came back and she said, mm hmm. That little thing she added that one of these things is much more clear than the others. And she yeah. said, Yeah, she said something about that. So if that was the case, I would probably go with the B. Somebody go said with B because I don't think it was a sweet drink. I think it was yeah. bitter. Yeah, bitter with spices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Hello, team, by the way. Hello. 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 So <laughs> which one do you want me to put? Number one is B. B is a B is in beta B bacteria. Bara. Bara. Bara bara bara. Bara bara. Okay, chocolate um, beans were used as currency. That sounds true. That sounds that true. Is, and that was that true. Is, that is true. Hey, that question, is true. Question one. I, I just read it again. What I'm asking for in question one is. Are all of those things true about them, or is only one of them? And if so, which one? I changed the gotcha. game. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. the bitter chemical in? Oh, what's number the process? Three. Well, for them, let's do three first. The true false. I think it's true. Oh, three. I thought we did three. Okay. Because that I seems like that makes sense. That's uh, false. How do you false. know that? I just know it. How do you do? You know it, know it, or are you just being contrary to say false? I just know that. I just know it. They did something else. It was something oh. else. Okay. So like a is, oh, like a uh, enema. Yeah. Well, uh, the flesh. Your. Yeah, I can put true if everyone wants me to put true. I can. We can true. come back to talking about. I don't really know. Chocolate. All right. Okay. Um, so I'll what is the process a, that Lynn put a used? star behind there? It, okay. I'm I'm mad at myself because I just watched a whole thing about this about a month ago, all about this whole thing that Lynn did, uh, Ann Reardon's How to Cook Fat. Oh. And I just watched her thing the other day, and we didn't. I didn't watch it. I yeah. It and and she went totally into this ho this whole process. The Which only thing I could come up with was emulsifying, but I don't know if that's right. Name for the initial shape of the vessels used. Isn't it circular? Maybe it's a, a circular process. Emulsifying. Yes, yeah, I think that's the only, but I don't know if that's the right word. It says name for the initial shape of the vessels used. I was named I the initial shape of the vessels. I can't spell well, it. Well, they were they were um uh like mortar and pestles, so it might be something like that. Because that's going oh, to be a it. double boiler. No, it wasn't. It was oh, it was slow heated, but it was it was ground. Like they kept grinding it and grinding it and grinding it until it became smooth. And it had like it was a like he. What happened is he accidentally left the machine on overnight. <laughs> And, and and he came back the next day and it was smooth. So it was like an accidental thing that they found, if I remember correctly. So the shape was... Like was a it, mortar. Yeah, like a mortar. Or concave, maybe. Well, a mortar and pestle. So if like you're grinding it to get it smoothed out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mortar and... But yeah, that doesn't sound right either. Oh. No, let's come back to that one. Maybe it'll pop into my head. So okay. what's the bitter chemical in chocolate? Cocoa? Oh, chemical. Yeah, there is a chemical. Hmm. Siri, what yeah. is the... No, I don't have Siri. <laughs> Where her part I'm human not cheating. Android characters get drunk on chocolate because they're sensitive to this chemical. What is the chemical? Oh, that must be interesting. Yeah. What is the chemical in chocolate? It's not tryptophan. That's tryptophan. It's quite a few things, and but oh, can you imagine that character? Caffeine, but I don't think caffeine would make them drunk. No, because that'd be in other things too. Yeah. What is it that's in chocolate that would be not in other stuff normally? What is it about cocoa? 
Is it a story on that flavor? Flavonol? Is it? Or is flavonoid? Flavonoids are what the term. But chocolate is bitter on its own. It is, yep. Yeah. Okay, so number six has really got my thinking. What was wrong with the the milk that those dairy cows were making? Well, I think it was the, what they were eating. Like, you know, it was in mm -hmm. Europe, they were grass fed and in, and they, they were hay fed or something like that in, or vice versa. Was that in the video you watched? No, I've been to the museum there. And I remember something about that. The Hershey Museum in Pennsylvania. Because the, the milk gave, it gave the wrong kind of flavor. It was quite different because of what was fed to the cows. Okay, that's a good answer. But I don't remember what, what it was that was fed. Yeah, well, then we don't have to really say. We just say that they ate something different and it made the milk taste differently. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I wonder if, I wonder how true that is that, well, I guess it's true, but if you feed a cow. Well, do you know that like Hershey chocolate actually tastes like vomit to some people? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. And it's because of the chemical process that they use. Is there's a specific, particular chemical that they use while making it that Cadbury doesn't use. And that's why Hershey's chocolate tastes like crap to some people. Interesting. I know I can't eat Mexican chocolate. It to me is too, I don't know if it's too sure. milky or there's something, it's a whole different flavor. So, so hopefully that, that memory is correct. I would just put that they were fed something different. Yeah. Well, if you go to Europe and have milk, like in England, it tastes quite different from North America. It's really interesting. Could it be because they were corn fed maybe? Yeah. Or yeah. I don't and know if it matters. Why they use Just these, as long as yeah. the taste is different because of what yeah. the cows were eating. Oh, yeah. that's why they use a different chemical process is because. Okay. So number seven, it's milk in your mouth, soldiers. not in your hands was a reason why that they were used for what purpose? So they the could night? give to the soldiers. That's right. Hours. Yeah. And they wouldn't, and they would last in their pockets. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The 1940s? Mm -hmm. Yep. It was World well, War early. II. Yeah. World War I. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's true. World War II, yeah. And what is the product similar in Australia? The no only, idea. Well, the only thing that I can think of, and I did not see them, and we went to lots lots of what they call lolly shops. <laughs> so, yeah, you're just, right? Just, and, uh, you know, I know they had Whitaker's chocolate there, but the only thing that I can think of is... Smarties in Canada are what we have. They have instead of M and M's, we have Smarties. And they're just exactly the same as an M and M, but and I Smarties don't know. Here are different. Yeah, Smarties in the U.S. are quite different. So I'm wondering if in Australia they're called the same as in Canada, but I don't know. Probably. So that's the only thing I could say was be Smarties. Number nine is Switzerland. I thought it was Austria. I thought it was Belgium. Where good divers from? Oh, Belgium! It is Belgium. Belgium. Okay. I got one right. Belgium chocolate. Yeah, Belgium right. chocolate. Good thing yeah. we're recording. That might be it. Godiva, I'm pretty sure is it because I'm pretty sure it's not Switzerland. They make watches. Uh, yeah. Well, they also make a lot of good chocolate, but not those brands or not the what good country brand. was was the biggest consumer of chocolate per person. Wow. Think about it. Just one second. Switzerland? No. no. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah. Where? USA. You think it, you no. think it does? Yes. Why? Because yeah. we're fat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, because Susan Gerbic eats a lot of milk duds. I sure do, but I don't <laughs> eat a lot of chocolate, just just the milk duds. So I did have brownies. I mean, I don't know. But I really don't know the answer to that one. I think I think I, either us or Mexico. I'm pretty oh, sure it's USA. Why do you think so? Because Mexico, I think, is... I thought it was some European country. You think it would be some European? I don't know which one. Like France, maybe? I could put something different, but... How about um... Belgium? Belgium would be good. I know that people go to Belgium to buy chocolate, you know, so... What if it's the French? They eat wine and cheese. They have a lot of cheese and their pastries aren't as sweet. 
Italy has a lot of chocolate in their pastries. Italy's a huge sweet company. Yeah, company. they they really like their chocolate there. Um, They'll put something else for the UK. Yeah, they need something to cheer them up over there. <laughs> Luxembourg, the, the Vatican City, Vatican City. <laughs> <laughs> they can't have well, one thing. They gotta have. Even Canada likes their chocolate, right? It's, it's, uh, it's yeah, but our population is so low. It doesn't matter though because it's per person. Oh. So if like, I think it's I think it's a European country, and I'm gonna get not Spain, right? No, they have Spain. Spain doesn't have a lot of chocolate. I think it's Europe. probably the Vatican. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, uh, seriously, like the population is like 500, and that's why they have to wear dresses. Yeah. <laughs> I don't being at the Vatican. I don't remember seeing chocolates for sale, but you never know. <laughs> um. Biggest consumer of chocolate per person. Is it a part of like communion or something? No. No, it is wafers. Okay. We really tasteless it. yucky Jesus wafers from what I understand. Jesus totally <laughs> ate chocolate. Yeah, absolutely. How about um well I kind of like the idea of what you were saying, Susan, like Switzerland or Belgium or it could be the UK. I know that that's huge. Could be. Yep. Mm. How's everybody doing, Gail? Looks like we're getting down to the two hard ones. Turned out to be the two hard ones, so that's good. Oh, we're, we're well. <laughs> How are you doing? Supposed to be. We're we're. Um. Do you think you're at a point where we should go two minutes or what? No, I was. I, like that's what I was thinking of. That's why I came back to us. Give us a little us. bit more. Give us a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's go back to the number four and five. Four five. So Did something come to you? No, I'm trying to think of it. Where comes Ben? No, it's not emulsifier. I let him. No, I don't think so. No, an emulsifier. I'm going to put him on that. team. Uh, geez, I'm afraid to put him on team. Well, I guess I could do that. Well, I just let him in so that at least. Okay. Can... Where should I put him? Put him on our team. No, because we just. Well, we might be cool. getting the next person depending on well, Vincent said he's leaving so we could use another person because I'm, I'm gonna put it, no I'm gonna put him here because there's only four in this one one two three four five there's five in our room and Why? hopefully uh Paula still she got up. faith in Romero oh right they count as two they count <laughs> as two yeah but Romero doesn't count <laughs> you're useless you were useless in the last one puppet right. puppet puppet yeah whatever so in the bitter chemical oh I'm gonna. I know for both of these four and five, I'm just gonna shoot myself because I'm sure she Anne Reardon talked about both of these mm -hmm. things in that video I watched. <sighs> Could it be cacao? Well, I think it's better than not putting piece. anything. I mean, but I don't think that's it. No, that's on um, question five. five. Yeah, I think that it, for some reason. I have no idea to spell it. I don't even know. I, what I know, but can you come up with anything better, Smarty Pants? <laughs> I mean, like flavonoids. Um... Mm -hmm. well, that's better than nothing. What is it? How do you say it? Cacao? Cacao. Is that spelled right? Mm -hmm. No. Yep. No. Oh, is it? Oh, that was. With the O and the A. The O and the oh, A. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No idea. Never heard of it. Okay, the process. It's what, it's what the chocolate part of chocolate is. And then you step, it's the cacao and the fat. Well, that makes sense, at least. It's something different. It's not than... chemical. It's right. Like... Well, I know that, but we're wasting time for you to argue semantics, Jesus. Jesus? Jesus? Why are you calling um, him Jesus? Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Shall I, shall I close the room? Yeah, I guess so. Let's put mortar for four because that's yeah. the only thing we come up with. Okay, was the name for the initial shape of the vessels used? Like a bell, maybe? The bell process. Mm -hmm. The mortar process. Or mortar. Mortifying. <laughs> I'm mortified. Just put mortar, Vincent. Yeah, I don't know. I'll put mortar. 
I just trying to envision. It's I remember like seeing doors. those machines. Yeah. Uh, okay, question 10, you guys. You We're going to stay with UK. Well, and number seven, uh, oh, gave to soldiers, Kate. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. I Go do. up to the top. For instance, do we have one for one through three? One yeah. we, we said was uh, B, because we didn't think that it was sweet. No, and I don't, yeah, I don't remember, recall them putting sugar mm. or any sweetener. Okay, number three. Vincent says it's false. You guys okay with that? Yeah, yeah let's go with it. Go with the first one. Yeah. It's four. What is the name of the process? More. Is is mortar mortar a shape? Mortar. Is it's, it a well, shape? it's a it's a bowl. It's like it's a type of a bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay, well we got an answer for everything, whether it's mm. memory so fickle. Mm. I know I just watched a video on uh, last night on um uh polygamy. Something came up on my thing, some guy in you Utah, yeah, Utah, had, this polygamy capital of the world. Basically. Yeah, he had six wives and thirty kids, and they did a documentary on him in the nineties, and they got him arrested. Yeah, Green was the name. So then I watched another what happened afterwards, and then I had a dream this morning about it. Oh, just weird stuff. They were getting pictures taken. I saw that stupid. All right, good one, Gail. Well, Very thought provoking. I like these that have lots of thoughts. Hungry. I like the ones that are about food of any kind. <laughs> yeah, you can always count on me for food. Okay. <laughs> okay, here are the answers. And then I will read them all and then I will put them all in the chat. Question one the only one that is the way they drank it is B. It contains uh -oh. spicy chili peppers and spices, is okay. the way they did it. It was B is sweet. in Bolero. Yes. He is in Bolero. He is in Bitter. And if you ever saw the movie Chocolat, uh, you would know that answer. Sure. Ah. It it wasn't How about like water for chocolate? They didn't That's sweeten it at all. And they it had was C is the opposite. They gave it to soldiers because it increased their strength, they believed. And it was never served hot. They let it cool off to room temperature. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Saw that movie and remembered it, you would know. Okay, so B uh, is the answer to the, number one. Two is true. They yes. did use it as currency, and they even had people who created false versions of it. They were, <laughs> Counterfeit they were fake coffee beans. Interesting. It's absolutely amazing how they did it. Counterfeit coffee. Counterfeit coffee, exactly. Or counterfeit cocoa, rather. Cacao beans, yeah. Three is a true and false statement that is also true. All right. Uh, they used it as a medicine because it was bitter. They didn't think of it as a as a food. They thought of it as a medicine. Vincent, I'm sorry. It was only when they started I'm putting sorry. sugar in that they started realizing it tasted good and they started using it as a drink. Mm. Vincent's All right. doghouse. I'm okay. Four. The three stage process is called conching. All right. Yay. And it's made <laughs> for the conch a conch shell that they use to grind the chocolate in. How do you spell that? C-O-N-C-H. Wow, we pulled that one out. Really? That's <laughs> why I put the, the shape of the vessel because it was done in a conch shell, which is why it happened. Uh, and the bitter, this one, if you haven't read Cage Baker's books, I recommend them highly. They're wonderful. Susan, even though they're about time travel, they're wonderful because it's a very realistic time travel here. Um, <laughs> it is it is time travel where in the great future and the future I think was 2020 <laughs> um, <laughs> in that future they figured out how to go back into the past but the, the time would not allow itself to be interfered with but they go to the past and they find things in the past and bring them up into the future Think Susan's eyes are glazing over <laughs> And they created, they took people from their own time and made them into these android characters. And these androids were okay. immortal. And they would meet together and they were hidden among, because they looked like everybody else and they lived in their own time, but they continued living afterward. And I'm telling you all that because one of the funniest scenes in any literature I've ever read 
This all happens in California because Kate Baker was a Californian. And they go to visit uh, the, um, chocolate, the chocolate uh, store in San Francisco. Oh, and Ghirardelli? Ghirardelli, yeah. And they, they go there and they're drinking hot chocolate with candy bar ch chasers because they mm -hmm. don't get drunk on alcohol. They get drunk on chocolate. Mm -hmm. And the staff can't figure out, because this is done in modern time, right? They can't figure out what they're getting drunk on because they're only drinking chocolate. And the thing that's in the chocolate that does it is theobromine. I know at least one team. Yeah. Hey, it was close, close, wow. it's close but yeah. not quite. It is what? Wow. <laughs> theobromine. Wow. Wow. Put it on our list. Okay. Um, and that the whole thing is all about how yeah. they get theobromine and how they get addicted to it. It's like alcoholism for these guys. Okay, question six uh, was about Milton Hershey, and he purposely built the town in Pennsylvania near the dairy farms to make the milk chocolate because he was going to make this cheap chocolate. Mm -hmm. The problem was what he learned in Europe was done with powdered chocolate. And, oh. And he couldn't get the powdered the milk chocolate to work like the powdered chocolate did but he was determined he'd gotten there just because of the dairy farms that were giving him the milk because he had all of the resources he needed and the factory was built before he found someone who told him how to do it with with real milk so mm. that so was you said powdered chocolate powdered did you milk. mean powdered milk powdered i'm sorry powdered milk yes so powdered the answer milk. is he couldn't get the powdered milk he, he could get it but he had built the factory and the town where the dairy farms were so he could use their milk. But the method he used from didn't Europe, come out of the cows powdered. Used powdered milk. <laughs> and the the powdered fresh cow. milk didn't work like <laughs> powdered milk. They had the wrong kind of cows. Very yeah, powdered, powdered cows. cows. And they had to find cows. someone who would make it work, otherwise the chocolate wasn't wasn't working. But he did find <laughs> someone right at the last minute and obviously it was successful. Okay, those are the two hard course. questions, by the way. Will you accept, Gail, will you accept it smelled funny? <laughs> it smelled funny. It wasn't the smell that was the problem. The problem was the texture. Okay. It got, it got liquidy and it wouldn't form the bars because it, just, it had too much water. Huh. Uh -uh. Okay. Melt in your yeah. mouth but not in your hands was why they used it for the soldiers in World War II. All right. Yay. They originally had used chocolate bars, but this one could be used in the hot places without melting. Uh, okay, so that was the whole point. It was it was World War II soldier ration. And then they learned to like M&Ms and came back. And for the Australians, uh, what is it called in Australia? <laughs> it's the Nestle product that's just like M&Ms. And they're, they're called, they're called Smarties. Thank you, Richard. Hey, good yeah, job. My gosh, we got out. it. Well, I got that one. Oh, we, I got that one, but I thought uh, Round Trees uh, made them. So they do in Canada, uh, they do in Canada. Yeah, but but it's but it's 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 a it's a British company that makes them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Here's an Australian. Yeah. Okay, number nine. What country is famed because of the the companies that are named? The country is is Belgium. Yeah. Right. The only question Belgium. I got right tonight. You're probably the only one we'll get right. And the last well, we'll one, the now. last one surprised me, which is why I put it in. Uh, the, country, the country that drinks the most, mo you eats the most chocolate is Switzerland. Oh, oh we almost said right. that. Point ah. eight kilos per person. Wow. And interestingly, for those of you who guessed the United States, and I heard some teams talking about it, we were not even in the top ten. They're all wow. European countries. We were number nineteen. With only wow. four kilograms. No, 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 no. How did the Vatican City do? Answers in the Because it doesn't go good with Bud Light. And we figured it was Vatican that. City because they all wear dresses there. The I'm last time we had that question in trivia was So you can see what conching does to the chocolate. This is unconched and conched chocolate. And that's uh, why they did it. And it wasn't, they weren't able to make the chocolate into bars until they figured out how to do that because that's not a very appetizing thing. <clears throat> Uh, yeah. Gail, where's your source for those for that number? For, for which for one? Eight point eight kilos per person in Switzerland. Uh, I, I I can look it up again. It was one of it was an internet site. Yeah. Because there was more than one site that did it. Why? Oh, uh, because. Uh, 
I was uh, reading someplace else that Germany had more, ate more than uh, Switzerland did. Remember, this was specifically for 2022. Question six is not the answer to question six that you gave us. Oh, I'm sorry. The question six is the, is, oh yeah, because I, I changed that question. Because I was going to say, dogs can't digest it. Yeah. It's a little like. <laughs> I, 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 I okay, here's what I put. That. I decided that one was too easy. What oh. if we had dogs can't digest it? Dogs can d digest the kind made with powdered milk, but not with the... Uh... <laughs> no, actually, it's the, it's the theobromine thicket. It's okay, so how does that answer? Except so that, 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 one, that one says because, because, it was, because it was powdered. Okay, powdered but milk. I said... He couldn't figure out how to make chocolate milk out of milk from dairy cows. He was used to the powdered milk in Europe. That's right. That's okay, nice. except I spelled powdered wrong, and I know it, all right? So let me go. <laughs> Back off. <laughs> all right, so let's go to scores. Good job, Gail. <sighs> now I want some chocolate. Oh, um, so, so Lee knows. We usually, you can take a break whenever you feel like you need to take a break, but we usually take a break after the second round. That's just kind of how it works. Okay. Which will be, which will be sometime tomorrow. <laughs> He's in California. It'll be today. I know. Uh, question uh, round one. Let's okay. start. Stop, stop sharing screen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let's let's start with the um, work our way up. So. Guanacos. Fine for the plaintiff. Scores. Well, I think we had eight. Ooh, good score. Wait. Did you did you notice what Susan did there? What? Skip the word, threw us off. Very subtle, but she she used uh, uh whatever she used for the yeah. word. Then she said <laughs> Yeah. And, and I was like, what? Yeah. You use oh, fine for the point of that's so funny. Yeah, she, we got she did it again. <laughs> You're easily amused. It's okay. <laughs> I know, but it's just funny. It's, I'm I have been with you guys a hundred and sixty games. I know your little your little things. Your little... Okay. <laughs> Who's Jeffrey talking to? Here's my cough. Oh, one of my cats started coughing. <laughs> the, the one that doesn't usually cough. Don't She's give coughing. him chocolate. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Eat more no old team. Okay, <laughs> orange jumpsuit inauguration. We have six. 45 plus CNN equals 47. Also I think six. we had seven. Mm, I don't think so. Let's no? see you guys arm wrestle for the- Oh no, you're, you're right. Six? six? Sorry. Okay, we'll take Trump for five million, Alex. Seven. seven. All right, and the team I was on. And Gail's on the team. Elon Musk will be yeah. self-aborted in six weeks. Five. Gail. What did you do to your team? Every time. Every time. <laughs> 6.4 average. Okay. Good job, Gail. Thank you, as usual. Okay. And the second is going to be <gasps> your brother. All in that first part. On the huh? other side of the world. <laughs> Uh-huh. Okay. Listos. Okay. Are we all set? Yep. Hang on. I've okay. got to go and uh, mutate people. Wait, don't mute us until we can boo him. Go ahead. Yes, I'm getting ready. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Case we need to. Okay. All set. The um, okay. My category is going to be the world's languages. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to boom for that. That's okay. All of them? Yes. <laughs> Everyone. But Everyone. you must speak them while you're mute. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you are, in fact, muted, Jamie. He was trying to communicate oh. with us with by, by American <laughs> Sign Language. American Sign Language. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Today, my game topic involves the languages used around the world. 
I will give the same phrase in both written and verbal form, and you have to determine what language is being used. Okay, can you hear that? Yeah, that's sneaky. Okay. So it's pronounced right. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Except your computer got it wrong because it should have said written and oral. Otherwise, it was redundant, but never mind. <laughs> you yeah. engineers, God. God love you. Okay, does it take a little time? All set? Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Let's go back and forth. Number one. Oh my goodness. Aaj, mere khel ke vishay mein dunia bhar mein upyog ki jane wali bhaashayi shamil hai. Main likhit aur maukhik dono roopon mein ek hi vakyansh dunga aur aapko yeh nirdharit karna hooga ki kis bhaasha ka upyog kiya ja raha hai. Okay. Ignore the cat in the middle of that. Yeah. So, so, so Jamie, I presume we're not going to have this to listen to in any way in the groups, right? No. No. Just, okay. just the... Okay. No. Your cat knows the answer, Rob. Oh, uh, it knows everything. <laughs> okay. Tried to copy and paste. It didn't work. It's copying and pasting on mine. Yeah, it's not working on mine. I'll try it again. Okay, Maybe you need go... to have the font. Yeah, that could be. Can, can you see the... Yep. Number two? Yep. Okay, here, here's number two. Σήμερα, το θέμα του παιχνιδιού μου αφορά τις γλώσσες που χρησιμοποιούνται σε όλο τον κόσμο. Θα δώσω την ίδια φράση τόσο σε γραπτή όσο και σε προφορική μορφή και πρέπει να καθορίσετε ποια γλώσσα χρησιμοποιείτε. Okay. Number three. It's going to take a couple seconds. Hold on. So is it saying today my game topic involves the languages used around the world? Yes, everything is exactly the same thing. Yeah. Number three. They're all saying the exact same thing. <laughs> okay, so you can get these. Some are easy, some are hard. Rob just speaking right now. <laughs> okay, number three. Hoje, o tema do meu jogo envolve os idiomas usados ao redor do mundo. Darei a mesma frase na forma escrita e verbal e você terá que determinar qual idioma está sendo usado. Ok. Number four. Let me get this. Hold on. Okay, number four. One name will call game Hong Tan, Gil Kong, a passa, T. Tai Gan Tuolo, Chanta Hai Wali, Dio Gan, Tang Nei Rub, Lai Lap, Axon, La Tang Waja, La Kun Tong Gam Nod, Wa Passa, Dai T. Tai. Okay. These are just beautiful languages. I mean, you look at the way they're written, it's so pretty. Yeah, that one particularly. Yeah, that is okay. gorgeous. Number five. Odie, ludus meus tema involvit linguas circum orbem terrarum USOS. Da boy and em phrase in utra forma et scripta et verbali et diodicare de babies qua lingua di better. Okay. Number six. Are these all living languages, by the way? Oh, yeah. Very common. Okay. Give Karen just a second. Karen, we're doing world languages, and Karen's going to be on guess what team? Team number one. Yay! Because they suck. <laughs> But no, I was on it, so I can say that. Thank we'll you. Suck, we'll suck together. Well, no, I'm I'm off that team now. I'm on to the next one. But I'm put you're on it now. So what they're doing is this is clever, Jamie. I like what you're doing. This is really different. Okay. It's world languages. It's all saying the same phrase. It's in. He's going to translate it. It's going to be spoken 
and then he's got it written and you got to figure out what it is. And I'll give you the languages here in a minute, Karen. Okay. Uh, num num number six. Сьогодні моя тема гри стосується мов, якими користуються у всьому світі. Я дам ту саму фразу як у письмовій, так і в усній формі, а ви повинні визначити, яка мова використовується. Okay. Number seven. Okay. Is number seven. Сегодня моя игровая тема касается языков, используемых во всем мире. Я приведу одну и ту же фразу как в письменной, так и в устной форме. А вы должны определить, на каком языке она используется. Okay. Number eight. Okay. Is number eight. Hôm nay chủ đề trò chơi của tôi liên quan đến các ngôn ngữ được sử dụng trên khắp thế giới. Tôi sẽ đưa ra cùng một cụm từ ở cả dạng viết và lời nói và bạn phải xác định ngôn ngữ nào đang được sử dụng. Okay. Number nine. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> that's my... Chamonk. Martian. That's my Martian. line. That's a cat. Yes, yes. Stepping okay. on a frog. Yeah, yeah. number nine. Idag handlar mitt spelämne om de språk som används runt om i världen. Jag kommer att ge samma fras i både skriftlig och muntlig form och du måste bestämma vilket språk som används. Okay. And number 10, final one. Tematem mojej dzisiejszej gry są języki używane na całym świecie. Podam to samo zdanie zarówno w formie pisemnej, jak i ustnej, a ty musisz określić, w jakim języku jest używany. Okay. Very clever. Very clever, Jamie. Some will be easy, some may not be so easy. Yeah, this is really, really good. Okay. We've got a category quite like this. Karen, I'm going to send you the um, one through five, I think. Okay. Or to your room. Okay. So, so when we're in our room, we're not going to have any way of listening to those again. Nope. Um, I don't we're know, all, I well, we're all equal. You, yeah, if you want, I mean, it's up to you guys. You know, if you're in your room, if you want to hear them, I, I'd be happy to play them again, no problem. But it's up to you guys. No, no you want to time to play all ten for all. Of them. One, yeah. we, have to, we have everything recorded, but we can't share it with everyone because it recorded what we thought they were. Yeah, so probably okay. probably we're all on equal footing, so let's not do recordings. We we heard them, we heard them. But there's nothing okay. you can share that has everything on it. Well, the, you, you might be able to get your own computer to text. play it for you. I have the text. I can give anybody the text. I'll put it in chat. Um, well, we can see it in chat. We can see the spelling. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. So it should be okay. I wrote notes when I went through and what I think it is. So okay, okay. I'll just have to argue with my team. <laughs> okay, so, so I, okay, so I shouldn't play these if someone asks. No, like, no, don't bother. Play. Because if you do, then you somebody else will have an advantage over somebody else. Then you'd have to play okay. all ten in all five rooms. We don't. Have yeah, that would be too time consuming. We've already got it. Unless yeah, you yeah, can yeah. broadcast, can he broadcast them? Not the sound, no. Still not worth it. Yeah. Okay. You got the idea. We'll be all right. Can we cheat? Okay. No, you can't we cheat. Use our cell phones. I'm sure you we have the ability to do so. Yeah. Cell phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because the cell phone. You're pretty the, confident with some of these, Vincent. Then I just think try Vin, rooms. Vincent, 
Vincent, I'm sure you recognize which one was Canadian. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure I They got to have an A after each letter. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> A. That's what I was going to say next. <laughs> uh, Karen, let me put you in your room in just a second. Five. I think it's just the first five you're missing. And there they are. Room one. Okay, and I'm going to two. You're at two. Hola, como estas? Hoy, hoy, my, me, hoy, me. How did you get, how did you get it to do that, Ben, when it doesn't know the language? Like, you need to know which. Uh, Just copy and paste. Yeah, I just copy and paste it. Okay, oh, and so it, and it came through. That's yeah. interesting. Okay, so the first one, anybody have a guess? Looks Hindi. It was to me. kind of soft. The, the the script looked Hindi to me. Yeah, I put Hindi. Yeah, I like that. Two, I don't know. It's Greek to me. It's Greek, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say uh -huh. it totally looks Greek. I've yeah. seen enough New Testament manuscripts to recognize that. There you go. Okay, number three is some romantic language like Spanish, but it's not Spanish. Like Portuguese? Yeah. I put that's not what I was wondering. Portuguese. It's not mm -hmm. Spanish? Are it's not sure? Spanish, definitely I not. I guess it's Portuguese. Well, idioma está senduro. My, my guess for three was also Portuguese. Portuguese? Yeah, I put but, Portuguese. All right. It's similar. It's very similar. Okay. Five has five has Latin words. Hodie is today. Five, five looks Latin to me. Yeah. Yeah, I would say it's Latin. Latin. Four, 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 I think is oh. tie. Is what? Yeah, okay. Tie. I was thinking that too. That it, Sorry. it was. Yeah. I jumped up. Can you move from room to room, Jamie? Uh, yep, I'm okay. So okay. we have six and seven. I put Russian and then he played what seven. What is I'm Ukrainian like, oh, that, and one's no... Russian? Yeah. yeah. So which one's which? Yeah, I agree with I that. I think it's probably. Well, here's the thing that I think we should concentrate on. One of the things anyway, this word here, it mm -hmm. comes between these two words here. So is this a. Uh, does one the of them one use is like, like my word, game, you... my. Do you force genders on on uh, on objects like certain languages do? Which one's Russian? Which one's I? Uh, I don't know. He's gonna put Ukrainian first and then Russian second. I'm I'm fine with. Uh, that's because, actually because not psychology. Yeah, I'm that's fine with that. Not a bad thought, psychology. Because we have no idea. <laughs> and. I'm not actually eight, putting like Ukrainian. I'm just putting eight, the... eight both on appearance of looking at it. And I've seen enough uh, Vietnam War movies to say I think that's Vietnamese. Yeah, it's Vietnamese. Yeah. Look at that. Um... Very, very. It had the, the same meter and, and sound as Vietnamese to me. Okay, Nine this is one not is, German. It's not German. Okay. It's one of the, it's one of the Scandinavian. I knew, I I knew Carl would Norwegian. correct me if it wasn't. You think it's what? I think it's, I think it's Norwegian. Um, so because of the A it. with the little O over the top. I of the married name. into a Norwegian family, and I recognize a few words. Uh, a dag. Um, yeah, see one, that last one. Dag Ab is another. Abenaz. But they're common in a lot of Scandinavian. Uh, like John's mother's name was Dagny, and Dag is a very. I dag was is. Yeah, so, I agree. I think it is it's Scandinavian. Norwegian. It's Scandinavian for sure, a hundred percent. But I think I, you're right. I think it's I'm, I'm okay with Norwegian. I, I I exactly said. I said it's either Norwegian or, or Swedish, but I wasn't. So sure. and it's that and then, little O on the top of the A that makes me think it too. Yeah. Okay. This last one is. I think that's Polish. Polish. That's very. Polish. You see that E at the okay. end. With a little thing underneath that's all the all the, the, the S Z Y and the C Z Y. I think you're probably that, right. That, that feels all right, that works for me. Everyone goes. Oh wow, that. we finished that fast. Yay, let's go back. As long that's, as it's not some so Polish, it yeah. might be Kyle Polish. Uh, we, uh, 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 uh. Are we saying five is Latin 
Yeah. They use it in Vatican City, I guess. Yeah. But it's not yeah, considered... I said they were living languages. Well, so it's the answer yes. Or do they speak they Latin? Living languages by saying, yeah, they're all used, but oh well, people still speak Latin. It's considered a I dead guess, language. Yeah, I mean it is it's I can almost read it. Today my game theme uses in fact, languages used around the world. One of the reasons why it's used so much in law is because it's essentially a dead language. It doesn't change. So once you yeah. establish meanings for stuff, that meaning yeah, stays in perpetuity. You don't have to worry about I never thought language. of that. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And if you find legal words in, in English, you say, well, 200 years ago, that meant a completely different thing than it does. Now. That is true. That's actually a good thought. Yeah. yeah. That is very that good. Makes sense. Aren't they beautiful? Just look at how pretty they look. Yeah. I mean, just some of these languages are you just incredibly pretty. So I have a quote. I have a. I need to check, test something here. So okay, it even pastes uh, properly in Notepad. Yeah. So wow. I don't know my, why it, some people were having trouble with it, but. Well, mine. What did we say? Eight was Google. Uh, eight was Vietnamese. Vietnam. Vietnamese. Yeah, I went back. I just put the the country, and then I went back and corrected them all to their proper. Am I missing any Latin Thai? I thought, thai, thai I thought he put Thai. I thought he put Slovenian just to mess with me. Ukrainian, there's, there's none Russian, here. Vietnamese, Norwegian, Polish. Yeah. Oh, uh, Susan, if you have and are able to easily send it to me, since I joined late, if you could send me all the round one questions. Sure. If it's not too much trouble for you, that would be awesome. Yeah, no problem. Although technically I did get three, four, and five from the team because those were the ones that they were finalizing. So, but if it's easier just to copy everything and send it to me, that's fine too. You went in I was actually email? looking for your link to your spreadsheet because I did have to edit it that one time when you were out and I didn't save the link to it. Otherwise, I just because oh. don't you put it in another tab in that spreadsheet yeah. too? Let me, let me I, I, didn't, I didn't have the link to that. Otherwise, I just could have went in and grabbed it myself. Ben. But however you ben, want to send ben, it. Ben, to me ben, is fine. ben, 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 Which no, let me just give you the um stupid, stupid work making me work at eight o'clock on a Thursday night. How dare they? I'll just give you the money. Have they been doing stuff. that to you, Ben? I wouldn't stand for it. Well, Would the problem is ben? is we it it's our it's our offshore team that that doesn't know their ass from a hole in the wall and uh that's all recorded they, now you know yeah i know <laughs> it's, it's just it's the whole what do you do the man that's the first problem uh, i'm an it for a hospital i should add it should it's I nice add to it? have the it stuff work 24 hours it's best that you have this so that at least i have a third person that has this do not look at future trivia Oh. Do not look at the tab because that's where I play around with the ones I'm writing for future games. Do I need to do I need to retract my statement since it's recorded on YouTube? Okay. Hey, Susan? Yes, sir. Can you do can you do the two minute warning? Yeah. We're all well, we're all done. How's everybody all else? Fun. Yeah. It, it was it pretty was... easy. That was fun. Well, I don't know. Oh, if I know right. that it was easy. <laughs> well, it might be we some obscure stuff. Came up with names of languages. Yeah. Yeah. I could. I could have made it. I could have made it much, much, much harder. But, yeah. Uh, I. Uh, yeah. Oh, that would be yes. easy to make it very hard. You pick. It's very a easy. A bunch of obscure languages that are all sound the same that nobody's yeah. ever heard. But Jamie, this well, is really clever. I like that you did this. This is fun. Yeah. Oh. That one that, that picked the obscure Amazonian tribe, that was the hard one. <laughs> the language well, Janine, good thing you got it on the first try. She speaks that language. I hang out the in the Amazon, huh? Okay. Well, it's, yeah. it's the beer, yeah. uh, the, the stuff you, the, what is it you call that you grow over there? Hep, hem, hem, hepa. Hops. Hops, yeah, hops. She grows hops in, in the Amazon, and that's what it is. Yeah. I tried right. to go, go back I because um, um, Susan just got here. Mm -hmm. Real quick, it's actually asking me to request access, so you'll have to probably approve it when I request access. Go for it. 
I'm using my, you'll recognize it. It's Ben Bellinger at gmail.com. So. Oh, I think we forgot last time. Dang it. Oh, well. Access denied. How dare you deny my access? I haven't denied anything. I'm just now getting it. Okay. <laughs> I know. It just says when I first clicked it, it said access okay, denied. It Request access. Access denied. In. access denied. Denied. All right. I'm going to click on that link again. Oh, look at that. Thank just you. Just professional. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Ben, you better be going to PsyCon this year so that you can't do this. We have to find somebody else who's going to have to run it. Well, I think PsyCon is going to be most a large chunk. He was going to come. Wait, is Ben here? Ben, I, I, yeah, I snuck in. Oh, hi, Ben. Hello. I snuck in. Um, yeah, I, I, I was planning on going until my tax bill was. <laughs> oh, no. oh, October's a long ways from now. Yeah, yeah, but five thousand dollars put October. a big chunk. Oh, five thousand? That's nothing. All right, you want to spot me? I'll yeah. go. No, no, I pay nothing, then, more money. If it's nothing, you'll pay the money, right? I can if help. If it's nothing, ben. then just pay for Karen says she'll nothing. help you. Okay, I'll do. I'll I'll set up a GoFundMe so that me and my child can go to. We we want Karen to go too. Will you adopt <laughs> me so I can go to? You <laughs> said you're already going. I yes, meant I, I, I would help. I meant I would help him with trivia. Oh, 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 so, oh I so, see. So when is Psycon? Yeah. October. October. Weekend right before Halloween. Anywhere in particular in October or is it the entire month? It's uh, <laughs> the weekend before Halloween. Last weekend in October. No, uh, no. That's see? my birthday. If I come, no. you guys all celebrate my birthday? Is it the yeah. last weekend? It is the last weekend, weekend that is yeah. in October. Yeah. Surprise. 27, 28, 29. Yeah. It's my birthday. I was trying well, to then you got to go now. Weekend before not a con. That's a, all your birthday. That was a long <laughs> yeah. Birthday. It's a very long birthday. I was trying to figure out who does oh, the Bob caption. And now I know who does it. Who does it? It's Karen. Oh, I didn't know Karen did that. What yep. does she do? No, it was on before Karen got it's here. The closed, it's the closed caption. I, I don't do that. I don't do closed caption. It was on before oh, Karen got here. So somebody. It. Oh, okay. Ooh, I thought it was po Karen. Post hoc ergo propta hoc, logical fallacy. <laughs> All right, Jamie. I'm sorry. Great category. Oh, God. J Vincent said sorry. Are we keeping track of how many sorry. times Canadians sorry. say sorry? Sorry. 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 Oh, sorry. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't keep that count. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Mm -hmm. They have one conference. And you know what? It's recorded. It. It's recorded. It's recorded. You can go back and you can count our sorries. Yeah. Okay. Are we all set with the answers? Yeah. Answers. Go. Please, answers. Okay. Number one. Number one is Hindi. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yay. Number two is Greek. Okay. Yeah. So I actually wait, wait. Sing. Did everybody say no? That's stop Greek it. to me. Stop stop Greek it. To me. Yeah. <laughs> that's what Carl <laughs> said. He said the Greeks don't want no freaks. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I actually I actually wanted to do um, Klingon, but Google Translate doesn't do Klingon. Then, oh, then you, I, you, 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 come out you, night. you would have had to change the description from uh in the world then. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly. which world. <laughs> word word Number word. three. Three is Portuguese. Hey, 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 hey. good hey. job, you guys. Okay, and now it goes downhill. Is it wrong? <laughs> I would say that Klingon I would have gotten instantly when it was spoken out loud. <laughs> Kapla. <laughs> actually, I, I actually try to do Hebrew, but on Zoom, you can't paste from right to left. It doesn't work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did it That's and it just it screws up. Uh, yeah, I wondered why there wasn't any Hebrew. Why Hebrew we're, we're binge watching. Yeah. That's why there's no attempt. We're no binge Latin watching Frazier and Arabic too, right? Frazier is is speaking at his son's bar mitzvah and he doesn't know Hebrew, and his friend the uh, Star Trek fan because he's mad at him he he uh, Frazier asked him That's to right. write I the speech that. in Hebrew and he writes it in Klingon and <laughs> Frazier gets up there and reads it in the temple. Oh, in that's awesome! In yes, that was a great episode. And, yeah. and, and, and every, he's so embarrassed, but but like one of his kids' friends knows that he spoke in Klingon. That's so cool. 
<laughs> I might have to actually watch an episode of that someday. That was good. Awesome. Yeah. Um, number four. Number four is tied. All right. Ah, woohoo! And I can't read a word of it. Yeah. Not a <laughs> but I can recognize it in a Thai restaurant. Yeah. I know what it says. It says today my game topic involves very <laughs> Thai. It does. Uh, number five is Latin. Yeah. Right. Is, isn't that considered a dead language? No, no, nope, they still speak it. Vatican. Then the Vatican. Like I city. said, isn't that considered a dead language? <laughs> <laughs> uh, number six and seven, I intentionally did this, and you have the 50 50 chance. Yeah. Uh, and, and number six is Ukrainian. Yes! Oh, oh, my God. Oh, you did it wrong. Susan it. is not competitive oh, at all. Get, and, that's because they're. Their alphabets are not identical. Yeah, six yeah. is Ukrainian and seven is Russian. Did so I call yeah. it? Did I call get, it? Get we job, knew, Susan. We, we went. We it's went for the seven. sure thing of putting Russian down twice, so we knew we'd really get ah, at least one. Exactly. And we, and we just went alphabetically. We we yeah. knew one. <laughs> we no, knew they, I use logic. I yeah. use logic. Susan logic to us into sure that. She's like he would put you uh, Ukrainian oh first, and so sure. that's what we went with. And I, I thought I thought of putting it alphabetically, but I intentionally didn't because of that. My son took Russian, so I kind of recognized that the second one was Russian. I don't know how you did that. I, I watched a, an hour-long YouTube video when the war started, and it was a, a linguistic expert telling the differences, and it is so small. I don't Very know how you do that without knowing well, I just that. used psychology that, that Jamie thing. would put Ukrainian first. Yeah. 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 Ukraine first. Ukrainian, okay. a short I, it looks like a latin i in russian the short i looks like a backwards m mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, yeah. there you go there sort you of go. like left hand you know driving on the left driving on the right they had to be different yeah huh um number eight is vietnamese yes. thank you now oh, right. if you go to a vietnamese restaurant me out of the wrong you can, answer you can tell number nine is a Scandinavian language. It's Swedish. Yes. Oh. 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 Knocked her out of there. Yay. Oh, well. oh, no, no. <laughs> Swedish is like all right now, now your video is going to be flagged for racism susan yeah oh, way to go susan way to go i know my muppets thanks a lot so so <laughs> is vietnamese take out far to go oh yeah. is that vincent what do you say oh uh, no you take out far to go to go <laughs> Uh, yes. oh, to go. <laughs> and Enjoy. number 10 number 10 is polish Yay! Oh, Yay. wonderful yeah. job y'all okay. i told them i told them number 10 i said i am 100 sure how'd you know that one French. because i took polish oh, okay oh. oh you did Jacques hmm? Clef. Hmm. Is, that the, is that the version of uh that's a swear in polish Oh, it's dog's blood. Shut up. Now we're getting oh, banned in Poland. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there went our Polish audience. We've lost the Swedish audience. My like, God. Anyone, anyone know any, any bad things to say in Latin so we get banned by the. Uh, oh, it's like Vatican. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, no linear in our contravent them. Well, I already I said. Blood, it means your mother's dog. Don't a dog. piss against the wind. <laughs> Well, I already said about the chocolate one that the Vatican was wearing dresses. What, oh, wait, in, in du, what is this? Indubitatis flagellatus? Indubitatis flagellatus, yes. And yeah. semper ubi sub ubi. Oh, what is the Always line from underwear. Monty Python where they where they take the, the book and they go, boom, do, ra, pi, sa, da, 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 And they're yeah, saying, I can't yeah, sleep yeah, at night. Do, a, um, pia, Jesu, domine, dona, e, requiem. Yeah. He's <laughs> saying I can't sleep at night or something like that. I'm having a hard no. time sleeping. Please, Lord Jesus, uh, give us rest. Is that what it was? Oh, very good. What are the scores, Susan? Well, I have them right here in front of us. I'm just waiting for people to calm down. We got so excited. My gosh. Okay. So it's an interesting category. All right. So number one. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling Ben is is. Well, um, I don't know what you're talking about. 
<laughs> you Somebody's missed a... possibly the greatest category of all time, Ben, because you were authority. That's right. <laughs> all right. So Elon Musk will be self-aborted in six weeks. We had nine. Whoa, nine. I thought yeah, we got we ten. No, no, we didn't get, get uh, nine. Yeah. We put we oh, we oh yeah. We didn't get we didn't get the right Scandinavian country. Right. I'm no longer on your team, so I can't say that. I was thinking I was on your team again. Okay, 45 plus CNN equals 47. Nine also. Mm. Nine. 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 Orange easy. jumpsuit inauguration. Inauguration? We got six, and I feel really bad. Really? Now. You should be embarrassed, yeah. Peggy. I am. Peggy, Ron, Mike Wolf, Carolyn, and Bob. Come on up. Bob even could do Latin. No, it's no. no. No? Zero? And they're on team. <laughs> oh, Bob's not on our team, actually. No, oh, really. oh, Bob's on both teams as far yeah. as I'm concerned. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, well, never mind. All right. So we should so... get nine because we didn't have Bob. Yeah. <laughs> we, get... we got I nine. I'm here to do extra work. Okay, so we'll take Trump for five million. Alex got nine. Yep. And the team that's in the lead. Okay. What? Oh, nice. You got a linguist over there on the team? Pretty darn close. We, we, fight, yeah. fight, fight. You got someone who knows how to read a menu. <laughs> <laughs> menu reading anonymous. All right. So this is the point of the game that we, we take a photo. Oh, I guess I do photos. So I want you guys to all look your spiffiest, nicest, beautifulest, nicest, cleanest. Whatever is just, just, and I'm going to take a photo, and then we're going to take our five minute break. A photo. Okay. So let me see your nice gleaming. Oh, oh, fingers covered. Wait, 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 don't, don't do it yet. Okay, ready? Wait, 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 no, no, wait. Okay. What? What? <laughs> I, I can't see. Okay. Oh. One, two, three. Okay. Hold it up. Make sure I have it. <laughs> Karen, is she in a car? Karen's in a car. Cute. Yes. For anybody who is not is not going to um, is not one of my Facebook friends, let me quickly share. This is so appropriate. This was on Facebook. Oh, right? oh, oh yeah, friends. I love this. That I was that. that was really. And it's so appropriate yeah. after your your category, yeah. Jamie. Hey, from top that. to bottom, though. That's oh, funny. Yeah. So in this uh, case, uh, I'm just yep. reading mm -hmm. about that first year. I please have the same media installed for a few. Path washers. I'm currently out of office. That's great. <laughs> Check, did mm -hmm. Oh That's my perfect. god! That sounds so American. <laughs> terrific <laughs> that's that's awesome <laughs> okay photos up on uh my facebook page everybody should be oh. a facebook friend of mine or else okay five <laughs> minutes i'm sorry or uh, i am still re still recording just letting you know five minutes or until i come right back hey susan yes. susan just yes. a second yes. are we still recording vincent I think we're going to still record while I'm gone. So watch what you say. Is that all right? A, yeah. Canadian. A, yeah, yeah, A. So don't swear, eh? Don't fucking swear? What? <laughs> fucking A. What's that? Fucking A. <laughs> I know I showed it last week, but does anybody notice the uh, the, the lighthouse? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's 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 uh, the skinny building behind the house. No, but it's a, it's a, it's an important one. It's an important one. Yes. What makes that lighthouse important from any other lighthouse, which of course is redundant? It's the one on the back of cake oh. chips. <laughs> That's funny. As... I actually went there two or three times before I realized it was the one. Yeah. <laughs> then I went back and made a video with a bag of chips. <laughs> and you have the video on the side too. 
that's impressive. Yeah, we, we've been going to as many lighthouses as we can on Cape Cod, and I've seen them all pretty close except for one one that's really hard to get to because it's like a mile and a half long beach. You have to either walk during the day or drive a, a, a special vehicle with four wheel drive. And they have signs there that said absolutely no lighthouse access, you know, for regular cars, too many people get stuck. So we couldn't go. And then I read about it and they're saying that if you take the uh, whale watch cruise, it goes right by it. So we're gonna take the whale watch cruise. And oh yeah. Take so I can get some pictures of the only one I don't have. It's kind of cool. Did you ever see uh, the movie uh, Finding Nemo 2? No. She speaks whale and she kind of like, <laughs> hello there. <laughs> I'll have to see that one. Oh, it was so corny. <laughs> I, I you know what find that's the one where no it's I thought it was finding Dory. No, well it could be finding Dory. Yeah. Yes, the sequel is called Finding Dory. Yeah, because I yeah I didn't see Nemo too. I saw Finding Dory. Yeah, I didn't see that one. Right. It was so corny. <sighs> sorry, I'm sorry for yawning. I'm about ready to hit the hay. Hopefully. That was two sorries. That was two sorries. I know. Two sorries is two sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I know. Just... <laughs> <I know. laughs> Can't help yourself. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you get okay, I'm scared. Someone, there's, um, I know you're kind of kidding right now, Vince, uh, but Vincent, but there's something that my women friends and I are starting to do well, not starting the past five years, <laughs> like um, because we notice that we're all saying sorry all the time, like even for things that aren't our fault. So we're trying to get in the habit of saying thank you for different things like sorry I'm late instead say thank you for waiting for me or thank you for letting me join late. Stuff like that. Yeah, but if you're really yeah. late, if you're really late, there's nothing wrong with saying sorry for being late. Yeah, yeah, but not automatically. Like everything. Right. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. If you're not late, yeah. Well, no, no. I mean, just sorry for everything, you know, instead of choosing other words like yes. that are not about us, you know, that take responsibility but aren't like sorry for everything. Just like thanks. Well, thanks, thanks for welcoming. <laughs> thanks for welcoming me, even though I'm late appreciate it you know stuff like that well thank you for putting up with my dumb mistakes does that work well you're welcome and i wouldn't categorize them as dumb well sorry for all the dad jokes <laughs> uh, see i only made a few dad jokes but i know you gotta i did i did almost as many as you but you got the reputation and I got yeah, and I got the reputation. Yeah. And I have I have a shirt that says uh, "Dad J Joke Champion." Ah. yeah, and you know what? I am very sorry for that. No, <laughs> I just thought I couldn't couldn't help myself. I, I I went to hang out with my friend, my son, and his friends in the army one night at a bar in in Missouri, and uh, I didn't wear my dad joke shirt, and I regretted uh. it because I was telling dad jokes all night. And I, my wife said, why didn't you wear the shirt? I says, I know I should have wore that shirt. Yeah. All right. Five minutes uh, is up, right? Got my pretzels. Uh, I've had probably 10 um, Dr. Peppers today. I, I think this is too much for me. That's right. not healthy. Susan, uh, I have a question for you, my neighbor. Yes, dear. If I were going to take you up on the offer of using your mixer for a short period of time, uh, would mm -hmm. tomorrow be possible or are, sure. you, are you going to be? Yeah, I'm not going to use it for a while. The only time I use it really is when I'm making mashed potatoes. That's usually only the time. <laughs> okay. I'm and you'll be, and I'll, I'll call you tomorrow to see when might be a good time. Wait, wasted away in Margaritaville? Anytime. Anytime. For Searching those who do not know, home. Karen Searching lives home. down the street from me. Okay. Hey, Adrian, did you see the uh, protest? Oh, Paula. 
When did Paula get here? No, she just said, "I'm now I'm finally home, but I'm tired. Hmm. Who's? The uh, Adrian, did you see the protest? Which one? The protest that happened at uh, the presser that the UCP had. No. Quite impressive. Yeah. Nice. Yes. That's what I like to hear. I always wait to, for the well. dad joke part to hit. No, there is no dad joke. It was, um, they yeah. were protesting <laughs> something. I was waiting for that too. Yeah, no, they were protesting uh, the... Uh, dad jokes. No, the hospital. Um, uh, our premier said something in 2021 about selling off the hospitals in order to pay for something else. And, yeah. But just look for it. It's on CBC News. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. So did Lee, did, did you run and get a llama? Because everybody's been showing off their cats. Did you go get a llama for us? <laughs> Actually, I have a uh, very pregnant llama that I just went to go check on. She's due oh. any day now. So. Oh, my God. That's oh. so cute. Yeah. Take a picture. We need to see pictures. Okay. Oh, oh, photos. <laughs> When I got married, he <laughs> promised me I can get a llama and a minor bird, and I, I don't get one. I, I think he needs to go one. all out. I think we need a llama cam, not just a picture. Oh, oh yeah. So a, we, a couple times we've had people bring out their cameras, and they've done like kitten cams. They've like a couple people were fostering kittens. They put like a screen that was just of the kittens being fostered or we've had chicken especially if the llama's gonna you know give birth that'd be yeah. good that'd be great yeah does this count yeah hey, look at oh, my God. Oh. oh who's your who's your puppy this is a tibetan spaniel oh what's his what's his what's name his name this is lulu oh, oh, lulu. lulu's adorable oh, lulu's adorable how could you have hidden Lulu from us all this time? Does he sell like leggings and candles and stuff? Last <laughs> <Lulu's stuff? laughs> name Lemon. Yeah. No, I'm and curious Bob's about side. the baby llama's name, Komote Llamas. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, what are you showing us? <laughs> is, it a, is it origami llama? No, origami quite. llama. <laughs> Bob's got Max is sitting behind him. Hello, Max. How are you? Oh, he's, Matt, probably, like, he's probably trying to get to sleep. You know, we have a quite a strange group. Have you noticed that? <laughs> the menagerie wow. that comes along with it. <laughs> Just love well, it. Okay. I'm on, well, I'm on here and I'm pretty strange. So. Well, yeah. oh, there's yeah. that. Yeah. But you're Canadian, so same thing. We All right, the yeah. one bringing yeah. the average up. So let's do our um, let's do our our announcements and then let's get back to the game. So. I'm going to see. I'm going to be in Sacramento on Saturday, and then the and then I'm going to be in the Bay Area, Berkeley, apparently on the following Saturday, and then on the 21st, which is a Sunday, I will be in Lodi. Oh, don't get stuck there. No, oh, I'm looking forward to it. That's going to be nice. Except they're telling me it's hot. On the 22nd, the Center for Inquiry is going to be doing a. Um, what is it? One of those webinar things. It's going to be with Leo Igwe. And if you can catch this or watch the video of it later, you will trust me. You will be impressed with this man. I've met him many times. He's a friend of mine. He's uh, from Africa and he specializes in um, al al witch albino, albino ism mm -hmm. and witch hunts and all the, the awful things that are happening to people in Africa right now. It's quite it's amazing. So if you've listened to Squaring the Strange, which of course you all should be listening to Squaring the Strange, they've had uh they've talked about him a lot. He's a very good friend of uh, Ben Radford's and Ben Radford's visited Africa. And uh it's incredible what's happening over there. It's very sad, but Leo is a wonderful um speaker. So when you know, I know they do a lot of different things with Center for Inquiry, but this one right here, it'll be on Monday at four o'clock California time. Um and then I'm going to be giving a talk on Wednesday, the 24th, apparently. I got to come up with something for Calgary skeptics, atheists. Um, we can reason. Do trivia. Do trivia with them. And we can 
I don't know what I'm going to say. I better come up with something. I, I guess I'll figure that out. Well, they want to know about psychics. That's for sure. They do. Well, yeah, because it, it the request came as a result of you being on Seth Andrews. Oh, so I got to talk about psychics. I think yeah. I can make up something about psychics. I think so. I could probably talk for a couple of years on psychics. So <laughs> that's what I have for this next week. Um, Kyle, I hear you have a podcast. I do indeed. It's Data Skeptic. And this week, we're kind of winding down our whole season on surveys. It's just me talking about a few different uh, statistical techniques that you can use in survey design. For example, how to get a, a measurement of how many people have illegally purchased pharmaceuticals. Mm. So if you want to know a good nice. statistical method for measuring that or uh, other sampling details, tune into this week's episode of Data Skeptic. Okay, we will. Richard Saunders, do you have a podcast too? No. <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> uh, coming, up on this, uh, coming up this week on the Skeptic Zone podcast. We head to the Royal Tyrell uh, Museum of Paleontology in Alberta, Canada, wander around and meet lots of dinosaurs and Adrian Hill. <laughs> she did the joke. Who's not a dinosaur? Who's <laughs> not a dinosaur? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we also look at investigation by the Australian skeptics over 40 years ago into alien technology, known as alien honeycomb. And the Trove segment looks at uh, references to the Fox sisters way mm -hmm. back oh, in the uh, toe, who, the toe who, crackers, the toe crackers mm -hmm. way back in the 1800s. Yep. Uh, all that and much more on the Skeptic Zone podcast, including an interview with Vincent. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah. I'm looking forward yeah. to that. Yeah, that interview was like less than 30 seconds. So. Well, they <laughs> use they use CGI to make it longer. <laughs> well, they did want it ask you yeah. tell us everything you know it was, right yeah so they get a little bit of your voice for you to program the ai just yeah, enough to enough, program it who knows it what you're enough to say. make a deep fake you, you, it's going to be amazing right. you're going to hear yourself yeah. explaining quantum mechanics yeah who knows what who knows uh, what you said well you know yeah we'll no, find out what yeah. you said that's coming up good. on skeptic zone um <laughs> richard is going to be doing a favor for us at Center for Inquiry, I'm going to be doing another webinar coming up at the end of May. And it's and I want everybody to be considering these things because we need experts or people who can help us uh, in different areas. We're trying to get all the groups back together again. And the one we're going to be doing this coming up at the end of the month is going to be a panelist between me, myself, oh, <laughs> my, myself, <laughs> Kenny Biddle, and Richard. And what we're going to be talking about is having conversations, difficult conversations with people who are in our community. So those people, like when you're running a skeptic event and you have that person who's never, ever met another skeptic or an atheist before, and they're like, will not shut up, <laughs> or uh, they want to talk about one subject or they don't understand, you know, how do you deal with people pretty much in our community, as well as people outside of our community and people who will be attending my workshop or who have attended my workshops already kind of have an answer, have an idea. Karen, if we stay a little later, I want Karen to tell you guys something that happened to her because I think it's hilarious uh, if we, after the event. But Richard's kind enough to be able to give his, his uh, years of wisdom dealing with people kindly. So that'll be fun. Um, anything else, Rob? Do you have anything this week coming up? Are you going to be talking to the National I, Capillary Skeptic? That, that is correct. I am talking about a little known topic. Um, some people here might know about it the Great Australian Psychic Prediction Project oh, for nice. the umpteenth time, and it might be my last time to the National Capital Area Skeptics. Um, it's I, I talked about this in person at PsyCon and numerous times on, on to online groups. Um, this will be my most up-to-date presentation and if you guys are interested here is the link to the ncas uh, facebook page and uh it's it's going to be live streamed over youtube and you could put questions there and they'll uh, they'll feed them to me during the or after the presentation remind me when we get really close what day is it this saturday at 1 30 eastern oh, time i'm gonna be busy i'm gonna be driving to sacramento Darn you, what are you doing putting um, talks whenever I'm... Yeah, they didn't ask me about the time. It's going to be an interesting presentation for them because it's the first time they're doing a hybrid. 
right? So they are doing it in a public setting, in a public library, and advertising it to try to get people off the street and people who happen to be in the library to come in. So this will be interesting. And it's also going to be live streamed on YouTube to skeptic groups. So we'll, we'll see. We might get some people who are actually think they're psychic. This will be interesting if I get questions from them. It should be very interesting. So the question to, after the game is over tonight is that I'd like to talk to you guys about. So start thinking about it now is like what Karen is going to tell you as well as what kinds of things you would like us to cover for upcoming webinars that focus on getting people back together again and running small groups and stuff like that so i have a list of topics i'll tell you in a minute but let's get back into the game unless there's anything else i need to know about uh who's can, doing around can i next? quickly say something about sure, Gail. this afternoon i went to the um the talk by stephen hupp I oh yeah you, yeah thank you rob for connecting us yeah, um, I was he's going ask to you about be helping me with the with the editing of that, that uh, paranormal Fantastic. psychology nonsense but he also did the talk today and I have bought his book and I have read it and it is outstanding. So mm -hmm. if you have less psychological content, but you want to learn more, he is an excellent speaker and he writes in a way that does not require any previous information. So, so, so had he had he heard of this topic? He heard some... of it, but just barely. They, it's been basically ignored by most psychology, but he, he said he will. He, that's why he didn't do it. Use it in his talk because he already had quite a bit of information to, to from the book. But it is it is fascinating uh, stuff that he does extremely well, and he helped me get up to date because he has some very new things in there. So I recommend if you don't know him, find out about it. It's worth it. And he did tell me he will be at PsyCon, so hmm. um, that will be another option. Is he, being, is he talking? Ah, uh, yes, and. I will also tell you one more time, just in case someone's interested, if you believe in democracy, one of the things that makes democracy happen is parliamentary procedure. And I am teaching an online parliamentary procedure class that will start at the very beginning of June. It lasts for eight weeks. Each class is an hour and a half. And it is a good way to learn all the basics. So you ha can't, you have to join Ali at UNLV in order to be able to take the class, but then there's no additional charge. And they have, it's a $40 for the summer uh, charge. And I know that um, Karen is going to be joining the class. But Yay! if anybody else wants to, now is the time to register. Yeah. Oh, okay. Important. Um, what was it that, uh, oh, uh, Kyle said, no, Carl said, sorry, I get you guys mixed up. Carl said, who's doing rounds next week? We've got two people giving rounds, and I will go over that and remind me again after the next one. But I do have something to share really quick now that now that Gail mentioned that. Everybody knows that the, whenever I'm going to a, well, when I used to go to the TAM, the amazing meetings, I would the I would be there at the bus or wherever to go to the conference, and I would look around to see who it is that's around us that might also be going to the conference. And you would see the people with, they have a look, they have a look about them. And so I went and talked to, yeah, well, it worked. I went and I talked to uh, one person. No, no, I'll show you. And I asked them to take a picture. So this is the very first picture. And I think I've shared it before with you, but I'm going to share it again. So this is the very first time I met Carl. Uh -huh. Carl, that's where I met him. And this person on the right is the person Gail just mentioned, Stephen. Mm -hmm. What's his last name? Hop. Hop. Hops. So that's H -U -P -P. two. H U P P. Hop. So, so these poor men who did not even know each other. <laughs> I said, "Hey, are you going to Tam?" And they're like, "Yeah." And I'm like, "Wow, we are too." Because I was with my son Sterling, and I said, "Can I take your picture?" <laughs> <laughs> and we've been friends ever since. And uh, Steve, in one of his books, he's got a book on um, a textbook that he wrote on childhood something something. He, and he I does have, a, his field is child is is psychotherapy with children. So in children that book, and, and he has a book on that. He has one to use with children. Well, the textbook I have a sidebar in it. He gave me. I got. I've got about this much content in there, and so I have a copy of the book. And his next book, 
uh, that he's writing that's a textbook, I am going to get a chapter. So he's working that yeah, one most out. Most of these books are edited. He gets people to do each one. And in the uh, CFI talk he did today, he mentioned you. Oh, does he? Mm -hmm. And what did he say? GSOW. Was it good? Oh, yeah, yes. he did. He mentioned GSOW and said that we need to edit the Wikipedia page on phrenology. Is that what it was? Well, he, he mentioned that Mark Twain, in fact, I'm going to do that. Mark Twain had an, he has an anecdote in his book from Mark Twain that is quite wonderful. And he said his Mark Twain's page doesn't have it. Yeah. So that I'm was, gonna go to Mark Twain's page and put the anecdote in. I put that up in the secret cabal. Did you see that, Gail? A screenshot mm -hmm. of that? So claim it before somebody else says, What do you say about me? <laughs> yeah, we just talked about all, all the good things you were doing in with Wikipedia. What a nice guy. Yeah. Okay. So here we are, round three. Lee's probably glazing over his eyes. What the hell? <laughs> We are social trivia. <laughs> all right, now we'll, we'll move through the next three. It'll it'll all make sense later. All right, so next or up, not. or not, we have Rob Palmer, who's going to be doing a a category on agriculture, California, Salinas, California. I don't know. So a little bit further away than California from me. So I returned from a vacation to uh, two countries in about two, three weeks ago at this point. And this is a shot uh, from the air of one of their most famous attractions. But you might not recognize that as a field of tulips. This one's more recognizable, perhaps. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. OK. And my uh, we were there partly on a on a river cruise. And one of the night's entertainment was trivia. Uh, people teamed up and it turned out we didn't know anybody at that point. So it was just my wife and I and some other teams had like six, seven people. So we didn't have a chance. But our team name, we had to pick a team name, was Where the Hell is Susan? <laughs> <laughs> Bear and, with uh, you in spirit. And uh, so this is, uh, I, I asked, after, after the game was over, I asked the cruise director who was running the trivia if she mind sharing her file with me, she said, no, I'd be happy to. So she gave me her file. Oh. And it was all about the Netherlands. So this is Netherlands cruise ship trivia. Oh, how fun. Yeah. Rob, they, they, she, she had about 30 questions. So I picked my favorite 10. Okay, so Rob, the question I need to ask you is, since you were, yeah. gonna, you were on a, um, a cruise ship in the Netherlands, was there a murder? <laughs> uh. <laughs> you know, because I love Agatha Christie's and there's always, there's always a murder on a, on a you know, you know, Orient Express, you know, that kind of thing. So there's got to be going up the Nile. You're on a river cruise. There should be a murder. Uh, yeah, no. No. Oh. Well, not that you know of. Not that I know of. That's correct. Which uh, cruise line did you use, by the way? Holland? Uh, it, it's called AMA. Oh, okay. I've heard of them. Yeah. You should have invited all of us and paid. They're they're like less known than Viking. Viking is the one that's advertised a lot in the in the U.S. for some reason, but AMA is advertised elsewhere. Right. That's how my wife found out about it. All right, so here we go. Ten questions. Number one. All right, mute mute. Oop. Ron, Sorry about that. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm, I'm falling down. You are now moot. Okay, so. Um, I am actually going to send this video file to the cruise director. Uh, hi, Joanna. Hope you enjoy. Oh, this. oh, good lord! Somebody's okay. going to watch us. Somebody's going to watch this. Hi. She, she's she's actually. I was kidding about the murder. We're she's actually from Transylvania. She's from Transylvania, as <gasps> she says. And we um, will not make you jokes about Transylvania. No, no Transylvania. No, no vampire jokes. So here we go. So I I, I took my favorite of her questions. Uh, some of them were multiple choice. Sometimes I I took out the multiple choice. Sometimes I added multiple choice. I, I modified them a little bit. But in any case, all right. Number one. Which animal is the emblem of the Netherlands? Number two. Which, what was the currency of the Netherlands before they accepted the Euro? Number three. The Netherlands lowest point below sea level is seven meters. The highest ground in the Netherlands is how many meters above sea level? 122. 322, 622, or 922. What about feet, Rob? 
I'm using her her numbers. Sorry. <laughs> you want to complain? Things? He's going to give you her. her the only thing they know enough. about feet is uh, like you know why they wear uh, wooden shoes on them. Um, and, and Lee, if you're just to to that joke is because Rob always says to me whenever I use Canadian units, which are the metric system, he always says put it in English. So I just had to say something. But but well, your Canadians don't use English. all the metrics. Canadians right? speak English. They're, they're units the whole rest of the planet, but us use. You mean put it in American, American. All right. And I also used uh, the uh, the spelling here that she used for number four. What is the national color of the Netherlands? Red, Hello. white, blue, or orange? Hulu. Uh, number five. Which Dutch city is the largest port in all of Europe? Ooh. Number six. The Dutch are known for tulips, as my previous picture, and cheese. But what is actually their largest export? Mineral fuels, including oil, pharmaceuticals, machinery, including computers, live trees, plants, and cut flowers, tulip bulbs, or cheese? I thought it'd be beer. I thought it would be chocolate. Chocolate. Number seven. That would be ovens. Why did the Dutch wear wooden shoes? They floated to keep their feet dry, environmentally friendly, to keep woodworkers employed. Oh my gosh. Number eight. And this was embarrassing. I heard this word on about eight tours by the time we took this trivia and I did not remember the answer. I never pay attention on tours. What is a polder? Drainage ditches and canals, ring roads, walls that surround a town, or land reclaimed from the sea. Over. Number nine. Which is not a Dutch cheese? Havarti, Beemster, Idam, or Kuda? Number 10. Last question is, in the Netherlands, amazingly, only one of these is illegal for bicyclists. Which one? Not wearing a helmet, not to have a light and a bell on your bike, not to give the right of way to pedestrians, or not to give the right of way to cars. Only one of those is illegal. Oh, interesting. Oh, good, good questions. I thank her. What's her name again? Um, it's Joanna, spelled with an I, I-O-A-N-A, -A, I think. Joanna? And now she kept saying, hey, just say, yo, Anna, Joanna. Thank you, so, Joanna. These if you can questions. answer this question, Rob, in number nine, are they all cheeses and just one of them is not a Dutch cheese or is one of the cheeses a made up cheese? I didn't look the others up, but I believe they're all. Cheap. I think this okay. is a great question, Rob. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Rob, in number right. in number six, and you may. I not wasn't know, dissing the question; I was asking they're not, for they're clarification. Not your, since since they're not your questions, you may not know. But <laughs> on the on the largest um, export, is that by, by by pound, by dollars, or whatever their money is? What, what do you know? Yeah, yeah, by by uh, dollars or by mo money, okay. whatever the money is, yeah. Yeah, no, well, yeah, okay. by euro, by euro, it's currently yeah, euro. Okay. So yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah. All right, what do they make the most money from, basically? Okay. Okay? Yeah. Good, 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 we're good. All right. Good uh, category. You didn't even have to work that hard for it, Rob. A yeah. little bit. To, to your room. He had to go, to, he had to go on a cruise. <laughs> yeah, it was very right. expensive. Yeah. It was, it was expensive, the right? most expensive category. You know, you went out of your way, <laughs> Rob. I appreciate it. You went all the way to the Netherlands to get this category for us. I really appreciate that. That's very He sweet. had to eliminate 20 questions. Oh, that, that was hard work. Was okay, so Karen goes on to one. Are you having a trouble keeping your, your, um, network, your internet there, Karen? No, no. I was on my iPhone. Now I'm home and I'm on my laptop. Well, that's right. You were driving. That's right. Okay, I'm on three. I'll see you in a little bit. Well, this is embarrassing. We were just there last year. <laughs> I'll just let you handle the rest of them. Then. <laughs> All right, Jane's in charge. No. Hello to you, my wife. that I knew. Okay, do you guys go one by one or do you guys, how do you do it? Yeah, let's go one through. 
content. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody know the animal? Is it the unicorn? No, I, I'm thinking it's like a, a stag. What do you think, Richard? I don't. You're, the inter you're our international person. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been. I've never been to the Netherlands, so I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what it is. The stag is a good guess. I just don't know. Yeah, I like that. Currency. Would you use Jane when you were over there? Well, they have euros, I think now. Oh yeah, now. Oh, you, Gilda. I, don't know. Uh -huh. what Gilda, the Dutch Gilda. The, the Gilda. Oh, Gilda. Yeah, that right. sounds right. I've heard of that. Yeah. I knew, I used to spend them. I know. <laughs> lowest point, the highest ground. I bet you it's the lowest one. I think so too, because it's pretty flat. Pretty flat. I don't think it's any higher than the second one, anyway. Yeah. I would I say. Know. You think it's A? I would. It's flat. Yeah. All right. I'm just thinking, I think where I live is about 150 feet, something like that. So, well, Linus is 30 feet over. Is it? Is that all roughly, is? roughly 10 meters. Yeah. Okay. Well, A is good. I mean, I was. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, national color. I think it's orange. Orange. I think it's orange too. Yeah. Because William of Orange. Yep. Is that why? <laughs> yep. Okay. It's a place, right? Orange is a place in in there, and that's Orange, where Orange is famous for being the Dutch national color. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Dutch city is the largest port. It's um. Probably it's, Rotter Rotterdam. Rotterdam. Yeah, with the two. Okay. Yeah. Either that or Den Haag. But I'm, I think Rotterdam it's that. And I think number six, the answer is live trees and cut flowers plants. I would have guessed that too. Because I Although, saw I saw a video once. <laughs> I oh, thought a long time ago. So now, but it is by money. Football. So so some of these things are going to be more expensive than others, even if there's not as many of them, right? I don't think it'd be machinery. Are you sure it's not mm -hmm. tulip bulbs? I mean... Well, well, I said well, you said you said it wasn't machinery. So I wouldn't think so. I'm not don't think including computers. One. I wouldn't be surprised if they make some kind of a chip for a computer or something. Maybe I've I never know. heard that. I but don't know. China let's, and... let's, let's go with D. Like you the reason said. why I'm thinking it's cut flowers and things is I saw <clears> a video <throat> of of what their the Netherlands has this massive. You know, it's just a big deal where they, they cut the flower. They did a big they, flower market. Yeah, it's yeah. huge. Yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't mean they're exporting them. That just means people go there and no, buy they were them. exporting them. But I, do, I'm wondering why bulbs. the tulip bulbs are on a different. Oh, we had this category once before. We had this question before about tulips. I think I did it actually, and it was uh -huh. tulip bulbs are actually grown in um, another country more than more than uh, the Netherlands now. And it was another. I can't remember what country it was, but it was another country is doing the majority of the tulip bulbs now. Huh. Okay. Can't remember where. But I think we All did right. have this kind of question a long time ago. Isn't E tulip bulbs a plant? Well, the, he's, divide, he, he's, uh, he's got to yeah, divide it up. I have no idea about the shoes. Their feet dry. I, I think would, it's I, my, D. I think right. it's a D because they, they make a lot of them for like decorations and stuff. And <laughs> Well, they had to have worn Seriously. them for that reason first. Yeah, but they make, they make big ones that people buy as, as in gift shops and stuff, you know? Well, now. Well, they now, do. yeah. Right. But, well, they did wear them, and then why did they wear them? They wear them to kept their, keep their feet dry. I think, I like, I think that's right. I think right. Jane's right. Yeah, All right. I do too. Because right. yeah, why I'm would you originally wear that. shoes? Because you need to keep your feet dry. You got to wear them. Yeah. They're okay. And that's what they had. So And soggy, you know, it can be soggy there and it probably mm -hmm. keeps water from seeping through so mm -hmm. that was before uh you know rubber shoes and rubber shoes and, yeah and plastic shoes and yeah because you couldn't <laughs> use animal skins or something like that in the old days well, uggs and crocs yeah but they would get wet 
Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's why you couldn't use an animal skin. But they float. <laughs> so what's a what's a polder? I I think that's D. I I I don't I, I've a, heard that word before. Bear that's old. <laughs> It's the no, it's grandfather actually, polar bear. Dad it's jokes are left to Vincent. Best D, <laughs> D, D might be okay. I, I... Yeah, I'm okay with whatever you guys pick on them because I don't know. Okay. What is not a Dutch cheese? I don't know anything about cheese. I don't know what Meester is. You're you're muted, Deborah. I, I've I've heard of everything except Beamster. <laughs> I've heard of Havarti and Edam. I mean, they have these in Safeway. Right. Every time I hear of Havarti, I think it's Cuban, though. <laughs> you know, I just Havana. I just, that's what I, I thought. I don't think they do a lot of cheese. In no, Cuba. I know. I just I heard the name and it just, <laughs> I can't get past Cuba. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, Could be small pieces of cubes of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> What do you say? Small pieces of what? It's cubes, cubes of cheese. Of cheese because they're Cuban. <laughs> oh, Cuban cheese. <laughs> They've, it's been Cuban. We can't put Vincent and, and Kevin in. Kevin are the same no, way. I'm going to have oh to gosh. make a note of that. Oh, yeah. Don't do that. I've been Not in a room with them lots of times, though. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm going to say B because I've never heard of it, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm okay know. with that. What do you guys want? <laughs> yeah. Ten is interesting. Okay, now I have a strong opinion on this one, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. I think it's also B. Pedestrians? No, the um, not to have a light and a bell on your bike. That's what I think it is. That's probably yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. It just oh seems so God. sensible. And the Dutch they is like are so, so big on bicycles. I mean, it's like. Oh, yeah. They have a whole like like separate roads for bicycles, at least in like Amsterdam. And so stuff. they wouldn't really need helmets. That's what I'm thinking because they're not going hardly any. Oh, they're all. probably all libertarians too, so they don't want to wear helmets. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but I think it's a light in the bell. Yeah. Because there ain't no pedestrians, I don't think, half the time. And that's cars, true. They're, 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 on different, they're on different roads. They have like a separate bike circuit so. just for the bikes. Yeah. It's a light and bell. I mean, probably not out in the country, but in, in the. Ding, 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 ding. It must be something really charming to be in, in the Netherlands and hear the bells all the time. Like, Is it? hotel room and you could just hear the bells or yeah. annoying either one there's a really nice uh bike ride through the cape cod that goes in an old train bed so they took ah. the train tracks out and it's really nice it's really long you know we have a like bike trail miles. that's where the trains were too kind of yeah mm -hmm. it's pretty cool ours goes yeah. along the ocean look deborah right. i just noticed my flowers are still here from caspian's birthday he gave them to me on my birthday and they're still there and they're still right. oh yeah, if They're I doing... touch those though, I think if I tap the chair, I think they go. The foot pedals will all fall off. I think so. <laughs> they look pretty good the for that's like what two April twenty third. Yeah, that's yeah. a long time ago. Do you add anything to the water or just leave it? The first time I did I add a little bit of the stuff he put in the water because he gave me some, but then after that I've just changed the water a couple times and I think I those love are chrysanthemums. Chrys they're chrysanthemums. They last pretty well too. Yeah, anyway. I love them. They're so I'm not good. sure if it works for flowers, but for like your Christmas tree, you can put like a, some sprite in it. Yeah, they say you sugar too sometimes. Yeah, but of course it's going to attract ants if you have that issue. Oh, they just look so pretty back there. Like I said, I can't. Yeah, I they do. Bump them. Guys, almost done. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just finished. Closing I'm just finished. Better than that gargoyle. Good category, Rob. I like this. The pseudo goyle that you had back there. Yeah, category? I had to get rid of all my. I said good category. I liked it. Good category. Yeah. Tell yeah. her thank you for us. So I, I didn't tell you how we did. So there were. Oh yeah. Added, how how badly did you suck? There had to be twenty teams, and uh, the top score, uh, I think there were twenty six questions, was like twenty one, and we got wow. like fourteen. Well, that's, that's not, not bad. bad. That's not bad. No, that's so, not bad. So, Rob, let me ask you a question. Oh, yeah, a Go ahead and hit the hit the breakout rooms. But the question I want to ask you is: I hit the breakout rooms. You didn't see the notice pop up? I saw it. You know, if the, if the questions seconds. had been about New Jersey and you'd only gotten fourteen, that would have been bad. <laughs> right, Rob. So, Robert, um, my question is that this woman is doing trivia on the cruise, 
what else did she do? Because you know what happens? They they work on the cruise and they get like free free trivia. Oh, oh my God, no. She is the cruise manager. She was like busy. Yeah. I would not want the job for anyone. Oh my God, she must have been working like 18 hours a day. You know, the, up in the morning to get people going, out in the lounge at night. It's like always at our table. It's, I don't know what they pay these people, but like I would not do that job. Oh my God. How many people were on the cruise? Not not um, staff, about, but just about, to... about 120. Oh, huh. that's that's short. That's good. I was just thinking because that'd be really cool if that was your whole job is to do trivia on a cruise. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, she was like everywhere doing everything, and she was really friendly and kept a good attitude. The last day she seemed to be dragging, and then she said, "Yeah, it was due for time off, and she was going to have some time off, as I recall, to go." It's home. like Julie from the Love Boat. Yeah. Well, yeah. Was she going to go on another cruise? No, she was going to go on her time off. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to go on another cruise and let somebody it. else do it. <laughs> gonna go on a cruise on New Jersey to get Bob's trivia. <laughs> yeah. She's welcome to come and hang out with us, but I guess she would never have that time. But that was fun. We enjoyed it in our room. I don't know about okay. you all. The only thing is that lady writes 26 questions. So next week she has the same different people. She doesn't have to write the categories over and over again. Well, so this is the thing too. She also goes the ship and she, she goes on a lot of different, the same company, but she goes, they go to a lot of different countries. So, you know, she must have this for a lot of European countries. Every category, every place That's has a category. She, so, so she only has the right one for each. Yeah. So you should tap into her for future trivia of other. Well, yeah. we'll all take a cruise with her. Hey, um, <laughs> so, so were all 30 questions about the Netherlands? Or are they different uh, categories? No, yeah, it, well, there might have been one or two that were more general to the area, but uh, yeah, almost all about the Netherlands. All right, let's get the answers here. So let's get the answer. I will uh, give you them and then I'll put them all in the chat at one time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think most people got the animal because it's a really good guess. Uh, you know, for a lot of countries, have this is the lion. Oh, oh no, we did hey. mm -hmm. get it on our team. We said yep. a stag. We had oh. a very small Apparently. lion. Apparently, <laughs> nobody. How lion. about the house cat? Wow. Does that count? So that was one of the few my wife and I got right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you All might right. have seen it on something yeah, somewhere. Yeah, that is true. At the we'll airport or places. something. What was the currency of the Netherlands before the euro? It was the guilder. Thank you, Richard. Hey. Oh, we got hey, it. Greg. Wow. Uh, the Netherlands. So this is interesting. Walking on a lot of the tours, there would be like a pole sticking out horizontally of a building at about chest height. And they go, and I go what's that for? Oh, that shows you where sea level is. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. You know, in a lot of the country, it's just, you know, three four feet below sea level it's like scary and and they have had at times when the whole system broke down and hundreds of thousands of you know houses were destroyed and tens of thousands of people drowned so it, it's a little precarious they didn't have a little boy to put his finger in it uh, it would have taken more than that um so it turns out that the uh highest ground is b 322 meters oh, oh i would have guessed that but Darn it. We thought the lowest. I, I was going to say that, but nobody. I, would... at, I heard at least two groups get the national color of the Netherlands. And again, I miss this being there, walking all around, seeing it all over the place. Their flag is red, white, and blue, but the national color is orange. Have you ever seen your orange. soccer? Your nice soccer team of the orange. F1 and, as well. Or Formula One racing. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, where, that's how we got it, too. Yeah. Carl Fun watches fact, a lot of Formula the... One. Yay, of, Andrew was the House of Orange or whatever it is. Yeah, it's yeah, William that, of Orange. That is true. Well, I heard a trivia question about it. What came first, the color or the fruit? I, I don't mm. know the answer. No, <laughs> the answer is the fruit. Okay. okay. Moving on. Now I know. <laughs> Thank you. All right, number five. Which Dutch city is the largest port in Europe? We actually visited that on the cruise and uh, walked off the ship and were immediately in the middle of the uh, Amsterdam uh marathon which was a bizarre event for <laughs> did they run uh, over you uh we got to see like you know the chase car with the camera pointing back at the lead runner and people cheering and whatever it was it was quite interesting the funny thing is i i live you know with an hour drive of the present <laughs> on narrow bridge where the new york city marathon is run every year and we avoid the city when that happens so i've never been near a marathon before and here we walk off a cruise ship in rotterdam which is where it was Yay. 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 Right. 
And the crowd goes wild. Yeah. <laughs> Number six, the uh, Dutch are known for tulips and cheese, but which is actually the largest export, which is interesting because I put cheese and tulip in there. And it is neither of those. It is, in fact, uh, machinery, including oh, computers. No. What? Oh, I, I would yeah. never have guessed that. that. Yeah. Yeah. We got that wrong. Oh. Sorry, number, Bill. <laughs> num number seven. So this was an interesting question, uh, and uh, I don't remember if Diane and I guessed this correctly, but they claim, and I Googled this afterwards before I wrote this up, just to make sure there was some information about this, and it supposedly is to keep their feet dry. Yay, yes. James Yay. said that. Good job. And, yeah, and James, yes, they, yeah, they, the there, there is a technique where they take a solid piece of wood and they measure your foot and they carve it out so it fits mm -hmm. nice and comfortably. Are we sure it's comfortable? <laughs> or do they just say it's comfortable? <laughs> <laughs> so this was Bill, embarrassing. Bill, you're, you're, oh. we, we, so no, you're muted, eight. Bill. Bill, you're muted. No, number eight, we did walking tours all over the place, and they must have mentioned this a ton of times. And when it came time for the polder question, we got it wrong. Uh, I thought, oh, it must be the walls they build around uh, the town to save it from the sea. Uh, no, it is the land reclaimed from the sea. Oh, yay! Oh. Yeah, got it. Nice, nice. One, Carl. Blew that one. Good job. And the one of those that is not a Dutch cheese is Havarti. Yes! Well, which is Danish. Uh, Beamster, I, 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 I go which is wait. the Cuban cheese, right? Beamster is a correctly. kind of Gouda. Yeah, hmm. yeah the and, Nikon and Havana. And number 10. So <laughs> uh, Amsterdam yeah, was the most dangerous place I've ever walked around for any length of time. You could of, almost say that that question was a Gouda question. Because of bicycles. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> So bicycles, oh, there, are more, there are more bicycles than, than people by outstripping, I think, the number of, you know, more guns by people in the United States. It is just freaking amazing. They're all over the place. They have the right of way. If if a bicycle hits you, it's your fault. Um, <laughs> it, 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 I'm not kidding. In the Netherlands, amazing. Only one of these is illegal. Uh, you don't have to wear a helmet. I never saw a helmet on one person, even though they're zoomed yeah. by and dangerous paths and uh, right amongst people in cars. Uh, you don't have to give the right of way of pedestrians and cars. If you hit one of those, it's their fault. You only need to have a light and a bell on your bike. I thought so. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Yep, we got that one. Hey. There you go. You. All right, I'll take it. All right, can, can I share something real quick, Susan? Sure. All right. <laughs> Are you sharing the scene? <laughs> Where am I? Oh, yeah, I remember this. <laughs> oh, uh, hold on, St. Joe. <clears throat> Where did Dutch people come from? <laughs> uh, well, the uh, Pennsylvania Dutch come from Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, other Dutch people, they come from somewhere near the Netherlands, right? Nice try. See, the Netherlands is this make-believe place where Peter Pan and Tinkerbell come from. <laughs> <laughs> oh I take it she's from the Netherlands? Yeah. I don't remember that episode. I've never that seen that one. before. Okay, here we go with our score, score, scores. And Lee, we have to do this in this exact order every time where I show the screen at a certain time and everything has, because if I don't, everybody on this team, everybody just kind of gets mad at me. So, right, everything has to do this. You guys are so predictable. On to the bonus round. <laughs> no, not yet. Okay, so let's do our scores. Who is going to beat Team 5? We'll find out. Let's wait. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I can see. See. All right, so orange jumpsuit inauguration. Orange jumpsuit inauguration? We suck. We got four. <laughs> we suck. <laughs> That's a nice team name. All right, let's go on to Elon Musk. We'll be self-aborted in six weeks. It's seven. That's that is a much uh, better yeah. score. Oh, stop the account! Stop the account! All right, forty-five plus CNN equals forty-seven. I think I count six for us. Okay. Ah, we got a tie. We'll take Trump for five million, Alex. Eight. Oh, that didn't last long. All right, let's see it. We had, I thought we had nine. 
Uh, oh, we got oh, six might... wrong and three wrong. Yeah. Six. You're right. Sorry. Okay. So that leaves us with the one that's in the, the lead. Fine for the paint plaintiff. <laughs> you didn't even want to try to pronounce I did it. it. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your score? 10. Oh, oh, yeah. Wow. All right. That ain't right. Somebody, somebody oh, has a ringer. Look at that. They have a ringer. They have a ringer. Seven on ringer. seven average score. Oh, a ringer. So, well, so thank, Mike, thank you to Mike, this are you staying director awake? who did that. Yeah. Everybody say thank you, Yolanda. Thank you, Yolanda. Thank you, Yolanda. 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 That was a great category. Thank you. We need more. Oh, we got, um, guys, hang on a second. Bill, did we, did we for number six, did we say uh, machinery or did we talk you out of it and say pharmaceuticals? You didn't talk me out of it. No, <laughs> it, was, it was computers, machinery we computers. We did. Okay. Oh, the yeah. score's correct? Okay. Yeah. We're so, we're so strict over here on this team, on, the, on this game, right? So, so uh, Mike, are you are you I, staying around? You're on mute. I I have to go. So bye everybody. Yeah, you're oh, on mute, Mike. Vincent. Good night, Vincent. Thank I'm going to peace out much. at any moment now. <laughs> peace out. So, so you're leaving me alone with Susan. Peace out. Wow. I'll, say, I'll try. I'll try and stay as long as I can. Um, I that's hilarious. Peggy's here. Yeah, no, but she, I'm giving she, the and thing. She's doing the, She's doing the category. Oh, this Which, is going to be hilarious. So there's two okay. of you left. Okay, so next week, don't forget that I've got um, I've got Carl, Karen, and Ron doing the bonus. So I'm going to need two more categories, two more people. So just and I have nothing for the oh the week after that. I think it's going to be all Susan. <sighs> I think so because or maybe not, maybe not. Because I think what I want to do is wait until our actual 30 year anniversary. 30? What? Third year, three oh. years, <laughs> and not just 52 games. Okay. Peggy, my dear. Good you evening. Have, you have the calm. I apologize for this category. Uh oh. Canadian oh, again? Um, but I went down the rabbit hole because of events that happened this week. So today's category is Donald Trump sexual misconduct trivia. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Is there 150 uh, questions? Hey, how did you pare it down to 10 questions? Wow. Is there 150 wow. questions? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was not hard. It was not hard. It was not hard. Oh, oh, that's what she said. Debra. Whoa. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. All right, Peggy. I'm mute, right? Oh. I'm muting all now. Yep. <laughs> all participants. Yes, I do want to do that. I'm here. I'm not muting myself. All no, right. You don't mute yourself now. That would be very difficult right. to get the questions. Verbally. I need to get this back over there. Oh, I want to get rid of you. Sorry, I had it all set up and then it got all. Oh, so oh. now the cruise director who's watching this still because <laughs> they're like, oh my gosh, I got to stay for this round. Yeah, really, because that's all we do is. We but she's too busy to pay attention to what's going talk on. Talk about sexual peccadilloes all the time. I forgot right. to paste my answers in. I'll paste a direct message to you, Susan. So number one is, according to E. Jean Carroll's consistent statements and testimony in what New York City department store was she sexually assaulted by Donald Trump? Oh my God, I got to remember these things. I know what it looks like. And number two is in the book Lost Tycoon by Harry Hurt III, the author claimed to have possession of a copy of a sworn deposition, which alleged that Trump had yanked out a woman's hair and then raped her because he was upset that a scalp procedure he had for baldness hurt too much. What woman made those allegations? On behalf of Janine, I'm going to say you're not following the Janine rule. Why? 
What was wrong with that? She read it first, then she pasted oh, it. Oh, Jan you know, we don't want to get Janine upset. That was an in inadvertent failure to yeah. hit. She looks really nice, but I know. Her yeah, Janine <laughs> comes out like the rabbit evil. on Monty Python. Yeah, she's she's just evil. Just she has raccoons and everything trained. Okay, now it's now it's in. What reporter was Donald talking to when he made the infamous utterance about grabbing them by the pussy on videotape? It's nice to know that we can say that word here. It's just a kitty cat. I hate, I hate it whenever they beep on stuff like that. What videotape? <laughs> it's an ugly word. You don't talk about videotape here. We can say cock too, right? Yeah. So number one right four, behind you. On whose radio show did Trump brag about being able to go backstage at the Miss Universe contest and look at all the naked and half naked contestants? Like he owned them. Well, he did. Oof. A lawsuit against Donald was filed and then dropped by a plaintiff who claimed that when she was 13 years old, she was repeatedly raped by Donald and what other infamous sexual predator with whom he associated. Okay, here we go. Number six. Chat. Do and paste. Number six, Jessica Leeds said Trump was like an octopus when he groped her and put his hand up her skirt in the early 80s, causing her to move away to another area. In what setting was this alleged assault? In Peren, where were they? Six and seven is. Number seven, Donald told a famous broadcast interviewer that it was okay for the interviewer to call what woman in Donald's circle a piece of ass. We should have some unique categories tonight. Yeah. Okay. This has been interesting. Guanacos. Um, okay, this is number what, eight? This is a quote uh, from Donald from another interview. I can't even see it myself. I'm going over here. Um, Donald said, quote, it's amazing. I can't even believe it. I've been so lucky in terms of that whole world. It is a dangerous world out there. It's like Vietnam, sort of. It is my personal Vietnam. I feel like a great and very brave soldier. Donald said this in 1997. What was Trump so afraid of that he equated his courage with Vietnam service? God, where did you get these things? I wow. You watch a light I'll watch. I'm down this rabbit hole. Oh, I guess so. It was an ugly rabbit hole. <laughs> oh, she's have some chocolate. <laughs> Thank you. Really? That that's what we should have in the next category, huh? Okay, number nine. <laughs> Trump likes to assault beauty queens and ex-beauty queens. One such alleged assault was on Nini Laksonen in 2006. She was the former Miss what? What country? And finally, number 10. Number 10, sorry, the number didn't show up. According to a May 9th, 2023 article in Business Insider, the total number of public allegations of sexual abuse against Donald Trump to date were how many? And this is a plus or minus three. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, so it was kind of hard to winnow him down to 10. You forgot right. some zeros after that three. Right? Yeah, I think it's plus or minus 300. Well, the, again, it's according to the insider, and these are people that have reported it, not necessarily people who did get assaulted. Oh, man. All righty, then. 
I, no, sorry. Uh, I do. Um, I apologize. Another unique category. No, no, this looks good. This is in honor of E. Jean Carroll and her being so. Oh, wasn't that right? a, no, no. So Peggy, we often have categories about presidents. That's true. It's historical. It's historical. It's his okay. Is everybody ready? We're going to our rooms. Yes, the most important thing we know about him. Okay. Oh my goodness. Lucky us. You I have I hit, the, hit the button there. I know you're saying I'll give you a couple of answers and then I'm gonna peace out. Okay, what do you give us your answers? You got yeah. uh got one five is and six. Goodman. Which Sorry, one? Which which one? The first one. Is, is what? Who, is who? Bergdorf Goodman. How do you spell that? Oh. Okay. E R G D O R F G O O D M A N. Yep, I got that. That, that must be an East Coast store, huh? I've never yeah. Heard this. Two, I don't know. Three, that's Billy Bush. Billy Bush, yeah. right. Four, that's probably Howard Stern. That was my guess. Um, is Jeffrey Epstein? Is Jeffrey Epstein, yeah. And then For the five. next one is Airplane. Yeah. Six was airplane. So I don't know exactly where they were, but they were seven. Alone. Seven is probably Ev his daughter. Uh, that was no. my guess. Uh, that was my guess, too. Really? I remember eight. It, and it's something like super innocuous, like going to going to college. Right. But I can't remember the specifics, but it was something really stupid comparing to Vietnam. No idea. So get going where we went to college. Oh, you know what it was? Wasn't it when he was um not college, but like uh like not high school, like high school where he went away to a military, they put him in a military academy yeah. Yeah. before high okay. school. It was like, was it high school or I don't it was not college. It was I'll we'll just say military school would work. Yeah. And before I don't know college. If I know. I think there's 19 actual. I think there's 19 allegations. Okay. And what's the? What is a Scandinavian country that looks like it's Norwegian or something? Huh. I was gonna say it sounds Finnish. Laksonen is a very Finnish type name. Finland, that's good. Okay. Miss Finland. That if, if, she, right. if she were a hockey player, I'd say she's Finland. So. Well, thank you, Mike. All right. Well, now you're, not, leave, so you're not leaving me alone with Susan, are you? The answer is leaving me alone. <laughs> We're recording this. And a cat. I've got a cat. I got a cat here too. I've got two cats. I have a cat to protect me from you. <laughs> That's kind of scary. All right. So whenever we come back and we've got ten, they'll just say it's just Ron and I. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. In the last tycoon claimed to have possession of a sworn deposition that claimed to be. I have never heard this. No. Well, we're supposed to know the woman's name. Nikki Haley. <laughs> Ivana. No. Um, how would how would we remember this person's name? Well, my cat just came running through and ran out again. Yeah, mine's back up here now. We just need one, two. Yeah, just need number two. Um, how's everybody else doing, Peggy? It looks like people are going pretty fast, so we're close. Yeah. Mike knew a lot, so. What is that all about, Hamilton? You came running yeah, through your we, have, so we have one more to go. Um, sure, I'm sure we'll stay in last place, but what the heck? Is that what you guys are in? Yeah. And the book lost tycoon. No possession of a copy of sworn deposition. I don't know anything about number two. I've never heard this. Which alleged.
Well, it's probably his first wife. I was saying, was that Marla Maples or was that the no, second no, wife? Really Ivana. Or is that Ivana was first and then Mar that's right. Then he had the affair with Marla. It's got to be somebody whose name we'd recognize. It can't be just some. Well, it's the woman who made the allegations, not necessarily the woman who was raped. Oh, so, oh, but yeah, it was Ivana. Av which, which is why we're thinking the first wife, which would yeah, be Yeah, because Ivana. she did accuse him of rape at one point, but I didn't think it was that. I thought she accused him of rape of something else and then and then said, oh, no, I didn't. Let me think. And isn't a sworn affidavit redundant? Oh, you can take it up with Peggy. She's a, she's an attorney, so that's true. Not I, will, I, I will bring that up to her. Okay, so yeah, so it isn't about the person who was raped. It's about a woman who, who made is, the allegations. Makes the allegations and and it's a sworn affidavit. Wow. Yeah. You know what? And I was wondering about this other one too, the one on the airplane. Nobody. I mean, I've heard all about that, but nobody told. Me, I've never heard like which seat they were in. Where they like they'd be in like a first class or something. They wouldn't have been in like a compact three person per row thing. And well, it's either that or a private jet. Well, they didn't know each other, and they were kind of chit chatting. And then all of a sudden, his hands were all over her. But I'd never heard what she did. So she got up and moved. I never oh, heard gosh. that. I never heard what happened. All I heard is she was just like trying to fight him off, and why nobody noticed. But well, if they're no, in a like a quiet time, you know, where the where they're in like just two seats next to each other, I guess that makes sense if it's like a first class or something. I mean, I I can't see even back then him flying anything but first class or private. Yeah, I agree. Amazing. The fact that she moved to another area and not another seat leads me to believe that it was like a, one of his private jets or something. Well, I know that they didn't know each other. So that's why I don't. Well, I know it's an airplane, so I'm sure that's the right answer. But yeah. You know what? I think it's I think it was a public plane because I remember I thought they said, why didn't you call a flight attendant? Oh, OK. In which case, if it was first class, they could have been sitting next to each other. Yeah. And then she just moved back into, you know, cattle class or something or moved to another first class seat. You ever, have you ever flown first class? Yeah, a couple of really? times. Really? Yeah. I wish. How nice was it? Well, one time was great. I mean, I I was flying by myself, and they needed my seat for to get a family together. And they said, well, the only option we got is to move you to first class. And you said, so, oh, man. I said, I don't know. But no, so I took the first class upgrade. You know, this is back there where it was like a, a morning flight. So breakfast was with real utensils and real napkins and real looking food. And then the other time, my wife and I, we had enough points, so we did an upgrade. And then when I fly through business, it's business class, which is almost the same. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Reclining, fully reclining seats. Well, thanks for staying with us, Mike. Physically, if not mentally, I think it looks like, yep, he's gone. He's gone. He's like, I'm out of here. Dun, da, da, da. Too quick, people. Why? Need more time? Nah. Oh, no. oh. If you, have, if you don't, if you have, if you need more time, then you have not been paying attention. <laughs> we need more time. It's too bad. We need more time. It's two teams at least. Too bad, so sad. I didn't pay. I didn't hear what you said. Hmm? Too bad, so sad. I wasn't paying attention. Good. It's nine thirty, folks. We're right. laughing. It's oh, twelve thirty. Right. It's twelve thirty, which is okay. the earliest time. Okay. Go ahead, Peggy. Can we do answers? Number one. Yes. 
Bergdorf Goodmans. Yay! Hey. Mike, Mike barely stayed awake to answer these questions for us. And I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put these in the chat in just a sec, but I want to go through them first. You want to try <laughs> his first wife? By the way, is this sworn that. affidavit Hello, redundant? Wow, um, oh, affidavit sworn. Yeah, I don't know that. I don't know that it changes the answer, though, does it? No, just <laughs> I was being robbed. Sorry. Oh, yeah, <laughs> grammar Nazis. So number three is Billy Bush, nephew of George H, cousin of George Jr. Number four is Howard Stern. His proudest moment was Billy Bush's. Hey, Faith. Yeah. Howard Stern mm. had a lot of interviews with that horrible human and and hey, they, Kevin, he, human. Know. He revealed himself greatly in everyone. Um, number five is Jeffrey Epstein. <clears throat> number yeah. six is on an airplane in first class. Anything uh, having to do with an airplane is okay. Oh, sorry, wrong one, guys. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. You got you got confused by the number of them. Um, <laughs> well, what did you What did you put, Karen? <laughs> the Florida when he was uh, in a <clears throat> in a Florida. Home. Oh, there's just been so many. Like Disney World. <laughs> no, I think she was giving him a tour of a, a house. Oh, he was giving her a tour of his house. That was at Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> technically a Florida man. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Number seven, the person he is okay with calling a piece of ass was his daughter, Ivanka, who at the oh time was I, don't know, I remember or that. Something. I remember. Yeah. something wrong with that man. He also said on The View that pretty much he'd do her if she wasn't his daughter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just yeah. gross. Yeah. Yeah. I'd do yeah. her. <clears throat> oh, um, Number eight is STDs, AIDS, either yes. one, anything oh. having to do with mm. sexual diseases. Oh, you... no, I put military school. Is that the same? <laughs> well, yeah. he, he made some, some people. It just no, doesn't have that anything was to do with. Second guess that yeah, I that was bone spurs, it. Susan. That's how we got out of that. Yeah. I thought it was military school. I, never... well, elementary, I, think military school. I thought he, he was, was in military years. school in high school. But so he, he's, he's older than that. Number nine. Ms. Loxonen was Miss Finland. Yay. Oh my God, we got it. Right. He groped her at backstage job, at David Leverman's show. Ooh. And so far, according to the article that I quoted, 36. Oh, oh. 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 my God. Listed by one. Which is, um, oh, I, I want to do one more thing <sighs> as a favor to you all. Oh. I do want to share my screen. Yeah. Where are we? Yeah, have a look at him. Do this. <clears throat> we have a slideshow from the beginning. Should have a pie chart. Oh, oh, oh. thank you. This thank is, you for getting the image out of our head. Thank you. This, this, this is, is like a palate cleanser. It's yes, cleaning, like it. so we're gonna give you a little bath. <laughs> and we're gonna show you puppy and kitty. Oh, oh. puppy and kitty. Oh. Oh. Puppy, and kitty. Oh. puppy and kitty. Puppy and kitty. <laughs> Oh, puppy and kitty. Oh, 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 oh. 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 you're going too fast. Puppy. It's it's only eleven thirty. We got time. Oh. Is the puppy grabbing the pussy in any of those bitches? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Peggy, I love you. I love you, Peggy. That's so brilliant. We need to watch. That yeah. is definitely needed. That was, thank you. Right. A cleanser. That was innovative <laughs> and very, very, very good. You guys are clever. You guys are really <laughs> clever. Way better than I'd be doing by myself. How'd we do? Uh, let's find out. Let's go to see who score. I, I think, think we're Eric's keeping track. Paying. Somebody's been paying attention. All righty, Rue. Let's see who's been paying attention. Oh, Ben's team didn't get 100 points extra on that one. So... <laughs> We Sorry, are flagging. going to go with the team that was Peggy's team and the I one I was it. on. It was just Mike and Ron and I. So how did we do? Orange jumpsuit in inauguration? We got eight. That's well, well done. good. Our best score so far. And I was on it. <laughs> A bunch of pervs. <laughs> 45 plus CNN equals 47. I think we had five. You're in the Oops, wrong. I got the wrong one. No, that's not the right box, though. Yeah. All right. There there you go. Go. That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> Elon Musk will be self-absorbed, uh, self-aborted in six weeks. It's seven. That's well done. Hey, we got a tie. 
We'll take Trump for five million, Alex. Let's Nine. I, I really like that. Oh, you curves. There you go. I, I really like your team name. I think that's one of the best of the group. So. <sighs> All right. And then the one that's in the lead with 28. What do you guys got? Monaco. Fighting for the playlist. <laughs> I did it just to hear Rob snort. Vincent's Vince, Vince laughing on the replay right now. <laughs> Hi, Vincent. <laughs> what is your score? Did you keep track? Because I'm sure there's somebody would be okay if you didn't get a zero. I think there time's up. Couples. We give him a zero. Somebody's on mute. I can't see anybody, so I've just got this. Yeah. Somebody's Sorry, screaming into made, the void. I think we have seven. You think? Mm. think. Yeah, I think you have seven, too. Do you have two? <laughs> <laughs> you may. They so may seven have point seven. Two. Good job, Peggy. That was quite unusual, which is wonderful. We've had where, where, where did Terry go? Did we lose Terry? Did Terry. Terry I don't see her. How do we do that? Did she say goodnight? No. No, I heard. no she yeah. didn't. We were jilted. Did oh, you... shoot. She's on the last team. Oh, well. Okay. So, Bill. There it is. Is it going to be something to do with the Grand Canyon? Are we going to have to talk about donkeys? No. Yes. no. Trains. We are, but we are going to talk about geological geography. Ooh. Oh, Highs and lows. Uh, recently going, you know, on, uh, Facebook, there's been this ad popping up of pictures of the top highest points in the 50 states. So I looked all that up and here is, uh, the bonus and it's going to be actually three sets that we're looking for. Uh, the first set is four of the top six highest state point high points. Part two is four of the bottom six uh, lowest state high points. And to fill out the 10, the two states with the two lowest points what? of the state of the country not including those states with a low point of you, you, you lost a yeah, lot of us bill yeah. 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 are you, you put putting them in, in the chat here we go if i can get this right do we name the state or the point and rob can't figure it out because it's not rocket science <laughs> <laughs> None of those are higher points or low points. <laughs> I haven't even looked. I'm just busy writing things. I, I I need two people in a bonus category for next week, and I'm the bonus next week. Okay, Ron's a bonus, and then I need two more people. Just letting you know that I'll be starting to pressure you guys here really soon if I don't get volunteers. All right, here okay. we go. Okay, so oh. now it makes sense. So four of the top six highest state high points. So the these are the these point. are the either the these point are... or either the place or the state. The state okay. is fine. Thank you. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. So we don't need the we don't need the feature or whatever it is. We don't need the name of the feature, but you know, if you have the name of the feature and it's correct, but you don't have the state, that's okay too. Gotcha. Four okay. The top six highest state points. Yeah. Okay. But you got right. all, all you need is four of them and the four of the lowest of the I, six lowest. lowest I'm, confused. High points. I'm confused. I'm confused because I'm easily confused. So you're asking for the four lowest places in the United States, or yes. do you want to take a state, any state, and name so it's the, they're all the highest points in that state. So we can take any state. And name the highest point for that state. No, I want the high, the the highest of the high point, high points, and the lowest of the high points. In the U.S. In the lowest US. of the high points. What does that mean? That means, like, for example, he uh, has a list of all the states' high points. He wants yeah, to right. know the top four, 
that are the highest and on the bottom of the list, which states have the lowest high points. And you right. want the state, not the geographical. The state is fine. The state is fine. Yes. Right. Yeah, either one. The lowest okay. high points for the yeah. I'm totally the lowest by that point. Language. I, don't I, I can't I wait to get into my team. The, the highest point in each state. <laughs> and that list, and I want four of the top high. The, uh, Do you want a mountain name? Okay, okay. Four, no, four, what he's four, saying is point. all 50 yeah. states, we have to say the top four states and the bottom four states. Right. No, I don't their, think that's what he's saying. Elevated. The lowest point. That's what I'm saying. Of the highest points. Yeah. Or the, the no, highest the, points. Not, in not the states. states. The actual name of the points. No, either either one. Either one will work. Yeah. Okay. If, so, if, if, uh, um, how? Okay, Bill. Okay. How many things are on this list altogether? So far, eight. And there are state Ten names. No. We need eight states. Right. Plus I know eight more. states. There and there okay. are states with lots, states with very tall mountains and states with very low hills. <clears throat> yeah, we can do this. And then there's two states. Two states that I uh, want the lowest low points in the country. Got my it. State, Got not it. Not including those states that the low point is a uh, coastal uh, zero. Uh, or see Got that. it. Yeah, like a beach. No, uh, -uh. Yeah. beaches. <laughs> yeah. The states with beaches, uh, they don't count. Except, <laughs> well, I mean, the zero does not count. The, the beaches in the those states don't. What count. What is it having to do with a coast? Have to do with a not? What if there's a big depression a hundred miles away from the ocean? Yeah, no, that that counts. That's the one he answers. That, well, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we've got it. All right. We, we can do this. We got we can it. Do this. One All one right. is obvious, one is not so obvious of the last two. All right. right. That's right. I'm confused the difference okay. between the four and the bottom lowest. We'll be all right. Two and the bottom. The we'll four are the out. lowest high It'll... points and two are the lowest low points. Yeah. yeah. We'll go in your rooms, we'll figure it out. Yes. I don't know. I don't know, but Uh, the, the lowest so the lowest one of the uh, like of the two at the and the and the third part like the low one of the lowest lows would be like uh uh utah i would think like salt don't lake don't say anything mm -hmm. what's the Why? altitude of salt lake what's that salt lake? no no i'm okay. sorry no, uh, oh wait ben low, oh. i'm looking for I'm looking for tall the the highest point in every state. No, I'm saying, but I, uh, uh, oh, that's right. But then Utah's got big mountains too. No, no, I was just thinking because Utah's still pretty low. But yeah, I got it. Yeah. Thank you, Bill. Okay. Um, what do I do now? You go, go, go to the other rooms. Uh, how do I do that? You go to your. Um, you have uh, permissions. If you go over to breakout rooms, click on breakout rooms at the bottom. And then there's a on the right hand side it says join and you can go to all the rooms. Oh, okay. Never done that before. Have fun. Okay. This room's being recorded, so this is one you don't want to be in. Right. Until you're done, until you think everybody's done. Okay. Okay. So how this works, Lee, is that because you're the person who's leading the category is gone. And because I don't have a clue, I <laughs> replace that person. So every every so I go every round. I am the 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 player that fills in. She's the free. Spot. She's the free agent. I yeah. So I've been on every team tonight. So this is your chance to be on this. I'm on your team now, and it's nice okay. So well, all right. Well, why don't we go for the highest? Uh, uh, is the highest well, in uh, Alaska or is it in California, Washington? Yeah, Alaska, California, Colorado, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Those are all on my list. Yeah. Yeah, what's the fourth yeah. one? Washington. Uh, or, Hawaii. Um. No. Don't think so. The diamond head? Yeah, it could be, yeah, the big island. Um yeah, but that you gotta remember that some of these other states are the states themselves are already high. Then you've got the uh uh yeah. you know where, where that where that one is is really from right coming from sea level. 
So I don't know that Hawaii would count would be there. Uh, I don't. Well, you know, like Haleakala on Maui is eleven thousand feet, and Mauna Kea, where they have all the uh, all the astronomy. I don't know. That's like twelve, fourteen. Oh, you know, feet. that's an interesting argument. The astronomy, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, also they have less light pollution. So yeah, yeah, I was thinking there's, well, yeah, there's yeah, less. True. That's I think it's the light. I think Hawaii is a good guess. Well, what do we? How many? Okay, so how many? Alaska, California, Colorado, Hawaii. Those are strong, and then. Okay, so then okay. I think the next four are the lowest. Oh. Florida. Florida, uh, California again, obviously with Death Valley. And no, 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 because you can't, it can't, because you can't have the highest and the lowest in the state. It, it was, I think, or okay. is it, well, if I understood it correctly, the one with, with the highest means what state has the high at the, the, the spot yeah. with the highest elevation, and then there's one which has the, the lowest of the uh, the lowest high elevation. Let me ask, so which yeah. so so. Then where would how how would we fit California in a second time? Would that be for the third part? I well, you have Mount Whitney for the highest and Death Valley for the lowest. I'm I, gonna ask Bill. Here he comes. I have the power to move him around. <laughs> Bill, Bill, we have a question. Okay. Can the same state be named in highest and lowest? Um. The the same. Okay, states can be repeated in any of the three categories. Okay, that's they all we can. need. Huh? Right. Yes, they can. Don't argue. So the state could show up three times. Right, so don't Highly argue. Highly unlikely. It's not going to be highest and lowest high point. It won't be. Yeah. But it could be But it could be number three, the third one. Uh, it could be. Okay. It could be. All right, Thank so you. then... All right, so then Lee, you're probably right. I Was it Lee? Out. Who came up with that? Yeah, uh, Lee. So, so wait. So he's saying it can't be the highest and it can't be the lowest together. Because we're talking of the high point, but 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 I, Lee's right. Then uh, it can be the lowest point because of yeah, Death Valley. And I was Is that thinking... what he said. I thought he said we can't be the same answer. No, he says he can't. You can't. You can't. He says it's not likely that it'd be all we, three. It would be all three, but uh, uh, so is uh, uh, something like Salt Salt Lake. Oh, Utah. Yeah, is, is a, but that still would be well above uh, sea level. Like I don't know how how that works. You're talking about the dry bed thing. Yeah. What is that called? Um, the, the salt Great flats. Salt Lake. Great Salt Lake. Yeah, Great Salt. The salt flats. I don't have the impression well, of that being below sea level, but possibly. No, no. it's just probably flat. It probably isn't because you have to go up to get there. So yeah. California is one, right? With Death Valley. Right? What about the Grand Canyon? Arizona, yeah, that's like Arizona? Yeah, but it's not. I mean, the Colorado River is still flowing downhill through the Grand Canyon, so it's not. Well, Florida is really lower... flat. Yeah. What about There's Louisiana, no considering most of New Orleans is below? Oh, Seattle? yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting one. It, yeah. Okay, Louisiana, California. Wait, lowest state high points. Pro hey, we need some hey, Midwest hey. states, like Illinois, maybe. Pat's just had a fit because they're touching each other or something over on the chair. You two get along. I guess I'm. I'm just still confused about the question. I don't know what the lowest high point means, but well, it, it, it means that like if you have if if state A has their highest their highest elevation is a thousand feet, yeah, uh, yeah. And, like and another one, it there's no other state that has a high point that is as low as that, so it would be on the lowest high point. Okay. I, I guess <laughs> you never know. I, well, you I never know, know any the, the highest the highest point in Florida. I think is like five hundred and fifty feet. So well, you know, Florida sounds Florida about right, probably about right. And definitely, and, they yeah. belong in that group. Yeah. And you're right, probably about Louisiana. Yeah. I wonder I if Mississippi too. 
Yeah, I think anything along the Gulf states. Yeah, my crooked letter, crooked letter, I, crooked letter, crooked letter, I, humpback, humpback, I. That's how I learned how to say it. Okay, now we need to have two states with the lowest low points where it's not zero. Okay, well, coast. Uh, Lee came up with Death Valley, which probably Two is Two states, right. so that'd be California again. California. So yeah. it could be the answer in all three? That's no, no, because it's a different... just twice. Well, yeah, it's it's twice because once one is about the high point, the high high point, and then the other one is this the low point. Nothing to do. We have with California the, for the highest, and we have California for the lowest. Is that all right? Yeah, I don't understand. It's, it's the yeah. highest we have. It's one of the four highest high points, but then forgetting height stuff, it's just plain low for the two. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, oh, so so. So for the second one, where we're supposed to come up with four states, we've got Louisiana, Florida, Mississippi. We're not counting California in there? That's no, in the California first group for the third one, the first and the third. What? Right? Okay, so the highest, you, we have Alaska, yeah. California, Colorado, and Hawaii, right? Yep. Okay, so for the lowest, we have Louisiana, Florida, Mississippi, and by the way, is Alaska not uh, what's what's uh, uh, the uh, what the, 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 you got me all in? Uh, wait a second, hang on. What's uh, what's what was we? I went and thought. What, what's the the high mountain in in uh, in? Are you waving high in Alaska? Um, with me, McKinley. McKinley. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. wait, they call it something else now. Well, uh, uh, um, the naughty. The, 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 yeah. How about Mount Rainier? How high yeah. is that? Not that high. So or, I mean, um, Mount so, Denali, 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 Denali. Yeah. So is yeah. is it? Wouldn't that? Wouldn't isn't that one of the tallest? Yeah, it is. It's the tallest in uh, the fifty states. Okay, yeah, so, that, so that has to. So be, we're taking California be. out of the lowest, right? Not quite. It's so. There's four, four, and two, right? It's in the four, first four is the tallest. Four, and then two. Yeah, and that's where it shows up again. Okay, so it? not in this one, not in the second four. That's right. Okay, so we need another state. Yeah, a flat one. Okay, so we have Louisiana, Florida, and Mississippi. Alabama? Yeah, that would be my guess. All right, there's the second right, four. Okay, Alabama. And then for the two, or, we got California and what else? Arizona? I thought we didn't take Arizona because of the... the. What about something like New Mexico? It's the lowest points, or the lowest point is not zero. I don't understand this second. It's, in other words, that's why I say you can't get a coat. You can't. You can't go and say, "Well, it's on the coast and it's right there at sea level." It's so it's. Um, it's either negative or it's one that uh, it's above that. Yeah. So when yeah. you're saying California, you're talking about Death Valley. You're not talking. Yeah. About yeah. Monterey Bay, or, which is obviously at sea level. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Um, what about Texas? Isn't a lot of Houston below sea level? Well, well, I know they have a lot of water. Yeah. Well, and so, so did we. Uh, what about Louisiana with like New Orleans? Yeah, no, that's we we already said Louisiana. But that's at coast. Right, but that's, that's at the coast. That's, line. Low, that's, yeah. that's for the lowest again. high. The lowest high point, but the lowest lowest. No, because because Louisiana is at sea level, <laughs> and that's on the coast. I think this needs to be a, this needs well, to be an, an English language test. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, we got 20 seconds, you guys. One advanced, more state, advanced semantics. Okay, pick one. I think what do you want to do? What did you say, Alabama or something like that? What did you say? Was Somebody said Arizona, but I don't know if that's right. Well, we got six seconds. So I say Arizona, say it, Arizona. All Why? right. Well, I have one okay. thing to say. I have one thing to say. Guanacos. Better burn out than fade away. 
That was hard. All right. Well, just kind of understanding. I never understood the question, but my teammates did. Yeah. Well, my okay. teammates seem but to the know. thing is you okay. came up with correct answers when you were asking me about it okay <laughs> all right yes. which i couldn't tell you then of course but i don't know if that's true but okay okay is everybody okay. ready to we hear the change answers? everything yes. yes yep okay all right alberta order, the top six are Alaska, Denali, California, Mount Whitney, Colorado, Mount Elbert, Washington, Mount Rainier, Wyoming, Gannett Peak, and Hawaii, Mauna yeah. Kea. Oh, I forgot about Hawaii. What was the Wyoming one called again? Gannett Peak. Gannett. I didn't know Mount Rainier was that but high. We, but we had to give the top four, right? We couldn't give four, no, you could give four of the top six. There were six oh. choices, so you yeah. picked four. Oh, okay. Got it. Are they going into the chat too or no? Oh, someone check on Kyle. I think he's hanging himself. Are you okay? <laughs> oh my god don't say that it's just a bad day kyle tomorrow Thanks okay kyle support everybody oh my god jeez don't even the category was hard but it's okay <laughs> sorry about you're still on the you, your team was winning let's hopefully it stays that way okay here we go just a second i'm i've lost my is uh is denali what they call not the mckinley now Yes, yep. it is. Right. No, actually, it's reversed to that, Richard. <laughs> right. What? I, I actually have a hat that says Mount McKinley, and it is now an antique because it is now Denali. Oh. And my hat says Mount Denali, so. All right. The bottom six are Illinois, is Charles Woo! Mound, Rhode Island. Jeremoth Hill, Mississippi, Woodall mm -hmm. Mountain, Louisiana, Driscoll Yay. Mountain, Delaware, Ebright Azimuth, and Florida is Britain Hill. Yay, team! Uh -huh. All right. And the bottom, the two states with uh, the lowest low point are California with Death Valley at minus 282 feet. And thank Louisiana, you, thank you, Lee. <laughs> Louisiana, the city of New Orleans has an average altitude of one and a half feet below sea level. Oh, we thought it was too close to the coast to count that. Well, it yeah, was less, it was less than. So, one, two, three, six, what were the last two? Louisiana uh, and California. California, Louisiana. I hear a purring kitty. Yeah, someone has a loud kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. It's like a lion. It's my, it's my, it's it's your stomach. It's Dutch. It's, it's Dutch. <laughs> is that your, is that your cat, Rob? Yes, it's Peggy. Oh. Oh. He's got loud. Oh. Kitty, kitty. Okay. So I just erased the answers we had written in ours. So I hope so. Oh, where to go? Have... No, Control I hope somebody on my Control team Z. Had you, you got oh, a zero. Yeah. zero. The answers are gone. Oh. You got a zero. Sorry, zero. Susan. No, I can recreate it if I had to. I just don't want to have to. Yeah. Okay, so before I go to the final scores, I need to know who, 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 who is going to be handling. I've got um, Carl, Karen, and Ron oh, through bonus. One. Adrian! Yay, Adrian! I will do an AI-generated one if you want. 
What? I don't want to no. know what you're going to do. Kevin's going to do it. No. I no, did that on ChatGPT. How do we score questions. it? No. Oh, no, no. I would do a certain category and say, give me 10 don't questions. Don't tell me anything. Answers. We don't want no, to no, know. No, no, no. I'm not telling you, the, not telling you anything. He's saying now. he's going to make it. the AI create the category of questions. Here's what you I'm can do, say, Kevin. You know, you tell, come... tell the AI to give you 20 questions and pick the 10 you like best. Yes, that's what I was into. Okay, Kevin, questions. it is. Adrian, Adrian Carl, yeah. Kevin. Okay, Adrian, Carl, Karen, Kevin, and Ron. God. And a I hint to I... my next week's bonus is I'll be back. Ooh, oh, no. it's going to be Terminator. Oh. It's going to be Schwarzenegger. Uh, no, I thought of something anyway. totally different, but I'm not going to tell you what I thought. Oh, you go look it up. No, no, I Don't thought of something hint. totally different. Okay. All right. So we have a clear winner so far. Let's see how they do. Somebody on my team better be counting because I didn't. Okay. Just telling you that. Orange jumpsuit inauguration. We have uh, seven. That's yep. a decent score. I hope. All right. 45 plus CNN equals 47. We had seven. That's a decent score. Uh, Elon Musk will be self aborted in six weeks. We had nine. That's a very decent score. Very good. The leader. You're in the lead. For a minute. <laughs> we'll take Trump for five million, Alex. We also had nine. Ooh. Well, we have a uh, we have a score over fifty. I mean, over forty. And then finally, Guanacos. fine for the win. <laughs> Just a mere eight. Eight. But enough for the win. <gasps> no. no! Oh, oh, boy. Boy. Oh. again. Ooh. Yay! We finished in the top five. Universe in the top yeah. five. I Come like on. our score better, Carl. Yay. We're not last. Yay. We, oh, we get bonus so points for having a score of 42, right? That's right. You get, bo oh, you get a bonus point yeah, for figuring out. You know the life, you know what it, it's all about life. <laughs> universe and yeah. everything. everything. Yep. We had a category of that last two weeks ago, right? We did, it, uh, Vincent did Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy a couple weeks ago. Meaning you can. So, are we ever going to see Lee again? Oh yeah, Lee, how, yeah. Lee, how'd you, right. uh, what'd you think? He stayed the whole time. I don't know if he knew he. Could, you know what? I'm not 100 percent sure he knew how to exit. <laughs> <laughs> He's still here. What do you think, Lee? <laughs> That's not think, fair. Lee? Well, he's he trying he to pull the plug on his computer. He said he's not, <laughs> he's not familiar with Zoom. He's so. like, "What did I get myself into?" <laughs> hey, this, this was fun. Who are I, these people? Yay! Wait, I didn't hear what he said. Plus, I think I helped my team a little bit. Oh, there you absolutely. go. Uh, yeah, of course yeah. You, of course you did. I have Someone no idea. Send him a webcam so we can get llama cam next next week. Oh yeah. yeah. Llama <laughs> cam. Oh look, I'm being visited by a cat. See, I have some too. Come back next week, Lee. We, I will be there. Okay, no, great. Right. So he's gonna be, I'm gonna meet him in person on Saturday. Nice. I told him he better not get ill. Because I, I need at least one person to show. <laughs> I, I will be there. No, Saturday is going to be a busy day because I know uh, what they have a Highway 99 cleanup for the um, Sacramento. Um, yes. Um, what the. So I should be there early. Or atheists, Sacramento atheists, I think, have the uh, part of Highway 99. There's going to be a two hour oh. cleanup. So, so I thought just for fun, I'll take a llama. What a great oh. idea. I'm not going to be there for that. What time I'll is take, that? I'll take pictures. It starts at nine in the morning. Oh, yeah, because I'm going to leave here. I'm three yeah. hours, so I'm going to drive up that morning. And yeah. night <laughs> well, you know, I've, uh, I, I've seen that sign on the freeway where it says, you know, clean up by Sacramento freethinkers and atheists for years. And uh, a couple weeks ago, I popped up on my Facebook that they were doing a cleanup. And so I'm like, okay. This is oh, bring a llama. Uh, Not why the pregnant is, one. You know, why in, is Bob in Missouri, and a rave? We, we had a problem in Missouri that, you know, any group can sponsor a cleanup. And, and the KKK actually registered to get a sign that said KKK cleanup. And so they said, okay, well, we're going to rename that section the Rosa Parks Memorial Highway. Yep. <laughs> 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 Oh, By the way, out. Susan, do you know the fastest way to get to Sacramento from uh, Salinas? 
take, Can I the, rob? take the airport. Uh, no. Go. Oh, oh, I was going to go 101 right? to 680. I go. You finish it? I did. Yes, go, go over Pacheco Pass. <laughs> yeah, go through uh, Hollister and oh, Pacheco man. Pass to five and then north. Yeah, I was waiting for the punchline. That's the quickest <laughs> route. In I want a, I want an enjoyable route. Well, then, then I you go well, right going over the helicopter. Teleportation and what, bot, Bill? I say going over Pacheco Pass is exciting. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, but, that's a, if, if you go via well, Oakland, you can pick me. Bye, up. Ellen. Bye, Ellen. Oh Bye. yeah, Let's I'm going to be spending the night up there. But Susan, the difference is the you'll see how the reservoir is. It's been so friggin' low and it's gonna be super high. That would be interesting one way. Mm -hmm. All right. That's the, uh, that's the only way uh, I would go if I was going to be See you next week, guys. Wait a minute. Bye. 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 Susan has a question for us, I thought. Yeah, I'm waiting for everybody to leave. Okay. Oh. Um, hey, anybody who isn't in interested card. in the after discussion, then they should go. Yeah, I don't believe in the afterlife. Is this a recording? Aaron is going to tell thing? a story. Brush With up on recording your, on. Brush I'm up falling on your asleep. I'm going to go to bed. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. The Thanks East Coast people got to go. My category, space vehicles and guns and stuff. So Ben's not going to leave now if you're going to be talking like that. So the story that you're going to tell, Karen, I'm playing on telling it. Uh, oh, we all got our puppies and kittens. Um, I, I'm playing and telling. So, uh, uh, the are you gonna turn off the recording? No. Oh, okay. Just I, nobody's I listening. About no, Susan. I was checking. Go ahead, Karen. I, I I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> well, then I guess you won't tell it. That was a great Can story. A Best ever. <laughs> no, Sferatu comes in again. Can you give me about your friend. About which friend? The story you told me on the phone. You called me up and told me your friend. Susan, tell the story. You're confusing. So Karen has else. this friend from high school. She's kept, she's done all three, no, two of my workshops that I'm going to be giving to Lee. And who else is going to be in the barrier? Nobody, nobody else. Okay. So I've done these workshops and Karen's attended two of them. And so she says she's changed her way of, I was talking to you on the phone, right, Gary? <laughs> right, but I need to know, I talk a lot, Susan. <laughs> I need to pay attention to what I'm okay, so, a little so, bit more information. Okay, so Karen said that in the past, whenever her friends on Facebook would be arguing about something, oh, yeah. post something okay. she would get kind of upset at, you know, she'd like be argumentative, but instead... This time, because she says of the classes she's taken with me, she's changed her tactics. And that is where the story I wanted her to tell, because I think it's a great story, even though I'm going to tell it sort of on, on Saturday. So I don't remember what all I told you, but yes, Facebook. Okay. I remember telling you about Facebook. So I'm trying not to unfriend people. Some people unfriend me because of my political views, but I'm trying not to do that because I want to understand how people are thinking. I want to see what kind of memes and stuff what their take is on stuff so and most of these people are people like I went to high school with or maybe I used to work with years ago but we don't agree politically at all and so this um I think I was talking about this guy um so did I tell you about the awakening and the religious thing yeah that's that's yeah. what I wanted to okay. talk about so so um okay here's one example like putting you know putting things libtards are ruining our country and they're killing babies all of them and you know just like post this or some meme and i just put oh well i'm not doing that you know you know me and i'm not doing that or something like that and um and another one was um was uh oh yeah and then and and, and i noticed he'll post all these ranting and raving things and then maybe something about I'm not feeling well today. I'm having back pain or I'm glad I'm going to the doctor for this back pain. And so every time he's physically like upset about something, he puts all this stuff, right? And I'm so I'm seeing a pattern with that. Negativity stuff. So it's like his go-to for all 
any kind of pain he's had his dog his dog died one of his they have like five dogs apparently and one of them died so again there'll be like this rant and then later it'll be my dog passed away so it seems to be a pattern of other stuff going on and then the go-to for the expression is this political stuff so one thing was uh, and very religious also supposedly christian very very unjesus like but supposedly christian <laughs> so there here was this one it said awaken patriots the time is coming awaken and then it had all this stuff like the time is coming you will be called upon to be your best selves and la 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 and all this kind of thing mm -hmm. and he kept saying patriots 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 and christians and so i posted i'm so happy to see you post this we agree about being a you know the importance of awakening you know after someone awakens they are awoke and woke comes from being awoken to uh -huh. compassion and connection and you know I, and i paraphrase some of the stuff he was saying so i'm so glad that we agree on these concepts which are woke <laughs> woke mean and really and, and it's very Kyle hasn't quite got it yet <laughs> and so then, so then it yet. i waited so then I waited, like, you know, I checked back in in a few hours to see. I wonder what was said. It was gone. The whole post had been, <laughs> had been taken away and he didn't say a word. But um, but I'm also I've also gotten from him things like thank you. And oh, I don't mean you. Right. A few times. Mm -hmm. But I'm You're just one of the trying, good ones. I'm mm -hmm. just trying to be an example of I am a real human being. And I'm also chair of the friggin' Democratic Party for our area. And so, you know, I'm just trying to chip away at that everybody is, everybody mm -hmm. is. But mm -hmm. I'm also seeing that he uses it for a bad day. But I'm not arguing. I used to try and debate him on the points. Here's a link to this article. Would you like to read this exact thing? Or and uh this that and that just got like and, and even he said before. Um, he put things and if I didn't like respond because newsflash I don't sit on Facebook all day but if I quit responding I'd come back later and it would say it figures crickets well no I just went I have a life day <laughs> but but those responses are stopping uh, and uh, so eventually I'll get back to you yeah, and on my page I'll post things like it came to my attention, this and that is going out there. You know, I actually read this. Here's a link to this document if anyone would like to read it. So just trying to put it on my page. And if anyone's following me, they see it. But I used to just argue with him and hoping that somebody would see it and change their mind. But because of Susan, I'm just more finding common ground, more compassion. And he hasn't unfriended me. And he Which doesn't is really rant. saying a lot right there. And he doesn't rant at me. Um, so we'll see. So that's we'll the story. See. I'm going to tell something like that on on, on the next workshops because yeah. I think it's a wonderful story. Don't you guys like that? Yeah, it's good. Kyle, and also, it, and also, Susan, you helped <laughs> me realize what I was doing too because I was getting a charge out of, you know, he, he says this. Well, fine. Here's this. What do you think of this? And really, the only time that I did that was in the the woke thing and I at least it had a little finesse to it instead yeah. of just <laughs> there's no sense in getting your blood pressure up either so and these are happy these people have like a lot of uh, physical physical comfort like they're like wealthy very wealthy like mm -hmm. like um I'm not going to say a name we're being recorded but but they are, you know, they're part of like a major ag family here of many generations. I mean, I've seen pictures of their private jet. They fly around in vacation. I mean, these people are very wealthy and kind of kind of unhappy and angry. And it seems like a waste of a lot of money. <laughs> Doesn't so, a lot of that seem to stem from angry unhappiness? Like the whole mega group has a lot of unhappy, angry people from it. 
and a post that I just replied to um, was, well, it was about getting drug tested to be able to get food stamps. And I'm like assuming you, if you are on, well, if you're on food stamps, you're also on drugs. Yeah, there's that assumption. There's shaming for being poor, um, you know. But then there's the whole it's not, it's not cost effective, and in fact, people who are poor tend to use fewer drugs because they can't afford them. Um, and so I wasn't sure. I that's really close to the kinds of things that this one friend posts all the time. And I'm like, do you not get that this is shaming people for being poor, um, you know? And, and so how do you respond to that? Oh, do, are you asking? I'm asking anybody. How well, about I will say respond? in the workshop, in the workshop, what I will what I talk about is how you respond to those things is you do it privately, because if you ever publicly, I mean, think about how many people have had their mind changed whenever they're they're ridiculed in public. Nobody. <laughs> so you kind of approach them privately and say, you know, I don't know if you understand that you said this and maybe maybe, you know, or you just do it quietly and privately and then allow them to save face and then they can eat they can see oh yeah you're probably right and then they take the post down they don't have to apologize they just kind of oh i didn't really think of it that way oh i didn't oh, mean I that. Know that or, even knows how so that's how i that's how i i teach well that's what my advice is to not um to allow them to, to be able to save face but anyway well even just mm -hmm. guiding them a little bit in a different direction we had an interesting thing happen on our cruise you're dealing with people who can afford to go on a cruise right so there's mm. politically we don't get into politics very often but every once in a while there's we this happened on our last cruise there's somebody that says something that makes me really bristle which is you know we earned our money we worked hard mm -hmm. And and I'll go, yes, that's very true. You did work because they probably do work hard, right? But yeah. then I, I just slide in the because I agree with that. And then I go, and we're so lucky to be born where we were. Ooh. Like, <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you oh. agree, but kind of, kind of. And the, the husband went, Oh, yeah, you're right. You're you're so right. We are lucky, aren't we? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> just to get them the idea that. All these poor people don't work hard. It's just like, what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Have you ever watched a waitress who's well, working I, I, I three found jobs? It's, <laughs> it's the opposite. The, the the harder people that work with me, they work the hardest, they get the least pay. Yeah, it right. can't happen. Now, I look at my husband. My husband makes good money and he works hard. Yeah, I know but, a lot of people who work really hard work that are harder than me. Learners. A teacher who makes, you know, I mean, in Canada, we get more than in the US, but it's still, you know, you have to have two incomes if you're a teacher to be able to afford to live. So it's still, right. you know, I'm lucky. I and hard is one of those definitions. What do you mean by yeah, hard? Exactly. You know? I worked long, hard hours, longer hours than him often, especially early mm -hmm. in my career. Now, you know, and later in his career, he's working crazy hours. But yeah, so I mean, but the the pay equity is just it's crazy, right? And it and it takes a certain amount, especially in the U.S., where we don't have adequate health care, yeah, and, and housing crisis prices mm -hmm. or shelter is so expensive. Um, to just it takes a chunk just to pay for food, shelter. Mm -hmm. healthcare right mm -hmm. so before you get to the point where there's disposable income mm -hmm. optional things you've yeah. got to have this chunk right and then there are all these other things along the way like if you can't accumulate extra money you buy a cheaper pair of shoes mm -hmm. and those you have to buy three pairs of shoes where if you could get 200 dollars yeah. and buy 200 boots work boots 
They yeah. would last you for five years and you can get them resold. And uh, But instead, you've got to buy cheap shoes three times. Mm -hmm. Or if you have a thousand dollars minimum in your bank account at all times you right. will never have check charges That's but if right. you, or you get a check I remember thinking before I'm like oh my gosh that check charge now I have to work three hours to pay that check charge I yeah. used to think about everything how many hours do I have to work for that to pay these fees but if you've got a thousand dollars you don't need to worry about it. But the people that are most at risk, you know, you can't get, it's harder to get ahead. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm thinking yeah. of those shoes. Cause when I was, I worked retail for 34 years, I killed my shoes. I killed my feet. My feet are just crap because I couldn't afford shoes. Exactly the same thing. I had to wear nice shoes to work, but I couldn't afford a nice shoe, good shoes. So my feet killed me. Because I was always on my feet and you had to wear heels and it was so painful. And so it's not only the toll on your bank account, but that's a toll on your body because you're, you're, yeah. it's just, I just, yeah. I brained my feet for, it took forever to get them back to some kind of normal, but I, oh. I did the same as a teacher. I've got really narrow feet, mm -hmm. like double, uh, triple A and I, I should have bought in my early career and we didn't have a lot of money and we had kids and you know, it just, we didn't have a lot at the beginning of our careers and I couldn't afford that. And this is $200 back in the 1980s. So you can imagine there's no way I could have afforded that. So I went and just bought normal shoes that I, but again, you have to wear nice shoes in those days as a teacher sliding through. I wrecked my feet. Yeah, I absolutely wrecked my feet. I got mm -hmm. an aroma and it's still painful to this day. And I had the doctor said, you need to go and get yourself a nice pair of <laughs> shoes. So yeah. I'm going to the, the shoe store with my husband and they were $180. And I'm like, oh, so I'm trying on these different shoes. And, uh, and, and I couldn't decide between two pair. There's two pair. He said, well, just buy both of them. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I can't afford one pair. Forget two. And I had those one pair, like uh, what you were saying, Karen, for 10 years. I saw, I, right? same they're, thing. They're, and I think I did get the resold, but you could do that. But yeah. that, and I remember people saying to me, um, you know, like I would give Greg a hard time about the number of golf shirts he had because he would get them given to him by work. So he, we didn't have to pay for them. And, uh, and somebody turned to me and says, well, how many pairs of shoes do you have? And I'm like, one, <laughs> because that's all I could afford. I did not have a closet. Full it's funny we're talking about shoes. <laughs> yeah, I, I would wear my shoes. I'd go down to Payless Shoe Source and I'd buy the cheapest shoes I could find mm -hmm. that fit. And I would wear them until they fell off my feet. And then I'd go buy another so you pair. Know John's, you know trash. John's shoe story. Don't you? Yep. He buys a whole bunch of the same kind of shoe because there's only one shoe that fits him. And that then as really each happen. individual shoe wears out, that's the shoe he replaces. Yes. <laughs> he kind of knew it an old shoe. <laughs> so he has a new left shoe and an old right shoe until the. I love it. <laughs> and you I know, like funny. that. When I got you had Payless. You had Payless out in California. Yeah, we had Payless. That's, that's headquartered near me over here. Oh, and, uh, my mother used my mother used to work for them. But but boy, I might tell you, they were just junk shoes. And yeah, it was it was Favor. It's not work shoes. Into Payless. When I finally got money, you know, I got some money later in my life. I went down to a uh, one of those shoe stores, just like Adrian's talking about. And you walk in and I was like, I have my feet are killing me and I've got years left on my job. And they 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 said, how about the kind of shoes that nurses wear? I'm like, oh, yeah, I think can I get something like that. <laughs> and I bought probably five, six pairs of just I was like, I have some money now. And you know what? I still have all those shoes. I've never worn them out. They're wonderful. Yes. My feet are so comfortable now. And it's like, what, what, what is wrong with this cat? He has not been around me at all. And then all of a sudden, he's just really needy. I think he got in a fight with his sister over there. And I think he's just upset. Okay, wait, I got to change the subject because I don't want to keep you all night. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I, I just want to say one more thing about empathy. I, I'm also thinking that some people, the people that are most angry, they are, they haven't mastered empathy, like that they can enjoy what they have. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be ashamed of what they have. I know a lot of wealthy people that are so generous and philanthropic and good for them. Travel, do what you need to. And then 
help as you're able, right? But some people have this scarcity mentality, like, like I can't look at you if, you know, if you have less or I've got to make you bad if you have less so that I can enjoy what I have instead of, oh, I have my reasons why this worked out for me. We have a little extra. We help society a little more. You know, if you just, yeah. yeah, yeah, don't be so mean about it. Why does somebody have to, why does it have to demonize people? Well, it's, it's, it's a judgment. If you don't have this elevation, elevated status, you mustn't be good enough for, I mean, this no, is, I don't really know job. anybody like that. All the wealthy yeah. people I know are very nice. Are nice. Yeah. Regular people. Yes. Oh, Not I that just, I know a ton, but just run into them, you know, on cruise ships. <laughs> yeah, yeah. but anyway this mentality it, this, it, it seems to be in this MAGA mentality very angry mm, people yeah. well that's for somebody to be smooth. angry about and making yeah. up a story to yeah justify they're, their- they're they're really trying to push this anger thing that sells more guns and anyway well yes okay next topic yes, before okay. we go um I've got cat hair feels like in my nose yeah. and everything because he's just shoving his face on my uh-huh. in my head and my nose okay so as you guys know, I'm doing these webinars for Center for Inquiry. <laughs> um, um, I'm doing these webinars for Center for Inquiry, and I am looking for, I have a list of topics, but what I'm trying to do is the webinars are created for people who have groups that are trying to learn to do stuff to get back to normal, like to getting groups built and to build our community. That's the idea. So we want things that are on that idea. So some of the things I have covered with Ken here. Um, we, one of the things we want to do is a webinar on like group activities. Like one of them is solstice party, Pi day, um, you know, different kinds of events like, that are nerdy events or fun events throughout the year that aren't necessarily like Halloween or Christmas or something like yeah, that. Yeah, May fourth. May fourth. What was it? May fourth. May the fourth be with oh, you. Oh yeah, and also Carl um, Sagan's also a day. 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 A Darwin's Day. Darwin Day. Carl Sagan Day. Day of Reason. Twenty twenty four. There'll be an eclipse party opportunity. Yeah, we're going to be going to yeah, I'm either in Buffalo or I'm and in. And we have an eclipse here. She's doing the orders them up. I I just called him up and and you know that guy that said he could move the moon. Yeah. That was for the yeah you know I'm gonna get in touch with him about maybe having one another year too. I mean they're really <laughs> fun. Move the, move the moon. That was well, his claim. Could he spoil and make an eclipse not happen? Ooh. Oh, he better not. <laughs> That'd be awful. Okay, so that's one of the, so I want to plan a webinar on just kind of how to have or ideas for having parties and different things about that. Okay. You know what's useful when I'm training? I I mean I'm trying to train people that so that I don't have to do some checklists for events. And different events have different kinds of checklists. Right. So you have checklists, Janine? I'm working on some. Okay, because I'm going to be needing panelists whenever it comes down to it. Who's done these things well? Okay, don't ask me to do anything until after the wedding. (laughs) When is the wedding? Um, July. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, we're coming up there in August, hopefully. I know what not to do for a conference. Well, that conference actually went really well. Um, Actually, that's good advice, too. What not to do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we yes, want to have we, we want to have one on skeptic camps. Uh, that will be no brainer because I want to get those. And other things we're thinking I was I have on my list my little list is um here we do this one. Cre um how to like if you have a board like a group with a board members how to manage that like <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about how, how to get your 990 submitted to the Oh my God, I'll just fall asleep listening to that. Down. Another thing we're thinking about is how to do a, a, how for a group to get a good YouTube channel. I did Janine's and how, and like how to do really good meetup.com. So you know how you set it up and, and put nice graphics at the top yeah, and how to market it. it and 
Just tell him, ask Susan to do it. Well, I am in charge, so. Just have Susan do it. She's I don't great. know about that. But um, also the other thing we're talking about is redoing videos. Like when Janine, when I, when I got uh, control of Janine's group's videos, she had videos on there. Not you personally, Janine, but they, it was back yeah, in the day when YouTube yeah. started. And you had 10 minutes is all you could put. Remember those? You got 10 minutes. And so they had a yeah, whole bunch of videos. Old, it was the old. Yeah. So what I did is I pulled all the videos down. I made a nice, uh, I put them back together again. And then I put an intro. So like basic YouTube skills on how to like basic videos. Um, also money. Mm. Raising money. Some groups charge money like if you want to be a member of a group you have to pay a fee mm -hmm. others say okay if you're going to attend one of our events you have to pay a fee and then other groups like my group monterey there's no fee we don't charge any money ask for donations yeah you ask for donations or whatever or you just get a large sum of money from james randy and well that would be great <laughs> i have an idea um by janine <laughs> saying uh, mentioning the 900s do you encourage people to become their own nonprofits? <laughs> Do you? Yes. Because Janine said form. I had to. So. Or 990. Okay. So another. Well, you can, you can leave with another. People oh, to yeah. drink beer with. And now I'm saddled with all of this <laughs> stuff. So I you have don't have to do. And everything else to follow. It but it's allowed money to raise yet. money. You don't have to do a form 990 if you get a fiscal sponsor and they charge a percentage and they do all Not of that. Everybody. And then you have the benefits of being under a nonprofit, but you don't have to create your own. Yeah. Well, some people like when, when uh, Deborah, who's not here anymore, she was a nonprofit. Her humanist organization was a nonprofit from the larger uh, Humanist Society of America, or whatever it was. And so Monterey County skeptics used to sister with them. So like if we were going to go somewhere and do something that we'd get a big discount if we were a nonprofit, we would use their nonprofit as the as the thing. So you could kind of sister up, you know, with somebody. Yeah, it's called fiscal sponsorship. Oh, there's a name for it. There's a name for it. And you come into an agreement like I have the People's Oral History Project is a historical project that I'm going on with my friend Gary and our fiscal sponsor is the Monterey Peace and Justice Center which is a 501c3 they don't even charge us a fee because we agree with their mission but most charge like eight percent and we can get nonprofit, you know nonprofit donations we just got a five thousand dollar grant Ooh. and it's all because they support our mission and on our things we just have to say a program of the Monterey Peace and Justice Center we published a book with them. We were now cataloging these historical items. So it's called a fiscal sponsorship. And then there's a homeless services program that I was part of, part of initially under the umbrella of St. Vincent de Paul Society, which has a charitable mission. It took us a year and we became our own nonprofit 501c3. So you can do that fiscal sponsorship and birth different groups and i, and I think it, i knew who my panelist is going to be on this um <laughs> when i when i do this and you save know, a lot of you know, money and build a relationship C the 501c3s are state a state-based well we're a 501c3 now yeah so are we right you are so too are Carl? Yeah. but it's state it depends on the oh, state see, that just i look it's at that it. and i just want to <laughs> fall asleep that, I want to cry, <laughs> but that's what I do. Ugh. Okay, so those are some ideas. Another couple, I'm going to do a webinar. I want to do one on scholarships. I might ask Janine for some help on that because what I want to do is have the groups. We really want to get people to go to the conferences. Mm -hmm. So um, if a person can't, if like, you know, not everybody can go because they're working and they don't have time off or whatever, but maybe how to do, how to think it through to send people in their community to go or how to have a local group like, like you just did in Calgary, Adrian, and have people come and like sponsor people who are local yep. instead of sending them someplace. 
but to bring them in, but how to, how to go through the process, how do you make a decision, how do you, how do you make a decision on who gets a scholarship, like we have to do on Monday, if we get more people <laughs> for, for the Q and Q, QED one we have to do, Adrian, Monday, thankfully, it's going to be over. Um, how do you make those decisions? How do you know how much money to give? H having conversations about scholarships for people to attend. So that's another, I want to do a webinar on just that topic. And then I want to do a webinar on PsyCon. Lee, have you been to any conferences? No. None at all? Oh, uh, watched a lot of videos, but no, I have not gone to anyone. I mean, the closest I ever did is um, James Randy was down in yeah. many, many years ago, and I went down to see him. Where'd you go? Oh, gosh. This had was it to be... Looney College? No, no, this had to be about 15 years ago. I know um, he was, yeah, I think it was in San Jose. But I um, actually got to meet him and shake his hand. And, Ooh, uh, yeah, was, nice. Yeah. Sweet guy. Miss him a lot. So we really sponsor. So there is a big conference coming up in Vegas, right? But yeah. you got llamas. So I don't know what your deal is over there. How well, are you from llamas? I, I live alone. I have a 10 acre ranch and for me to live, to leave this, I have to really plan it out in advance to get somebody to cover for me. Oh, wow. So October yeah. last weekend. When I go back to further. farming, I'm never going to be yeah. able to go anywhere. Well, but that's after you, the wedding. Well, I, <laughs> I mean, we, I, I go to the state fair to show llamas for four days and I have to schedule that out like six months in advance to oh get my God. a stepdaughter and her husband to come stay here. Llamas. Yeah. How you many know, you have? That's animals. Do you have animals? That's the way it goes. Yeah. I have, I have cats. They just handle yeah. themselves. Well, you know, it's just but some guys some but guys you, go out and play you, golf. Right? I, I play with my animals, yeah. But you don't have to milk them twice a day. No, no, you don't have to milk that's, them. Good. Well, Mark, that's, that was when it was hard. Well, yeah, yeah. I can. <laughs> actually, actually, you can if you have a baby that's not eating, but uh, oh, it's, yeah. it's, yeah, llamas do not have big udders, and it's, um, it's a little, well, whatever. <laughs> How many teats do they have? Four. What, Mark? What do you think, Mark? Nothing. Oh, so do, Mark. do they usually give birth then to three or four babies? No, one, one, usually one baby. About one in every 10,000 will be two. Really? I was thinking yeah. the nipples were kind of, an, you know, ha about average litter size or whatever the right word is. One or two, you know, within one or two, you know. You know, like four I nipples, don't think three or four. They have four teeth, no but the but the udders are very small, and um, it's like, well, we call them kriyas. A baby llama will nurse for about five or ten seconds, and they're done, and then they'll come back a couple minutes later. Wow, Karen, cows have I've I don't recall ever that we had even twins. And they have three. They have four tits for a four. cow and one calf. Well, there's they're symmetrical, right? Is it, are there teeth that are odd numbers? Yes, I dated someone once that had three. <laughs> really? <laughs> I have dated. Was he I a James dated, Bond villain? Four, no, we're still recording. We're still what recording. What number was that, Karen? I have dated oh. four people that had more than two nipples. <laughs> Eric, we Rob said the other day we were playing we were at my we were where were we I was talking to Rob and I said something about Karen and he said we're eventually slowly but surely getting all the numbers of all Karen's <laughs> over all these trivia <laughs> games we're learning about all the different men in Karen's life and there will be a category someday <laughs> <laughs> we only know them by number and how many teeth they have. So I don't know if that's going to work. 
only eight so far. Uh, okay so my question is can you guys think of anything else for future webinars i want to have one on attending psycon like mm -hmm. things you need to know things you should you know where are you going to get food how how should you dress how how are you going to get some sleep you know i mean it's going to be like coffee. On, Sleep's hmm? not that important coffee right? address the coffee issue Okay, well, and like, you know, all the things like best practices for attending PsychOn, we're going to do that probably in um, late September or early October for people who are registered. So that how they know to fit in and how to, you know, to meet people and stuff so you're like not that. Trying to convince people to, to go, you're talking to people who are already going. Right, but we will probably have one further on, on about attending, like if, like August or something like that. But then I want to do one also like a special one that's going to be just people who are playing and attending, especially if they don't know anybody. What do you know? Okay. What you the know? Best what? piece of advice is find Susan Gerbic and go. Yeah, her. that's all you need. That's, that's, that's going to be a two second. Find Susan. Everything Susan, what flows about lodging? from that. Is lodging, uh, do, you, do you just direct people to the room block at the hotel or do you encourage like hostels? Home no, hospitality. No, no. You stay at the you skeptic. stay at the you stay at the casino, and okay, you, that's an obstacle. That's a financial obstacle. Well, then we we put two or three people or four people in a room. Okay, all right. <laughs> we we buddy people up. Make a difference. Who wants to share a room, or who wants to help fund somebody who could really need help getting a room, stuff like that? But yeah, you got to stay at the. Some people don't. Kyle couldn't last time, but not for financial reasons, but because you couldn't get a room. Cause you got there at the last minute, Kyle, huh? Yep, that's right. How far down on the, the strip were you? you make it or not. I was off the strip. He was in some hell of hell, a faraway place. But Between he... a 7 Eleven and a crack house. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it wasn't in the crack house. That's for yeah. Well, we don't talk about those things. What happens in Vegas, <laughs> Vegas, <laughs> I say. It but, sure did. <laughs> but he had he registered so late. I mean, you yeah, were yeah. at the last minute, so. I'll get in at the right time this year. Adrian's already, already booked. booked her flight. Peener. <laughs> She's already booked her flight to Vegas. Can you believe it? Called trying to save money. Yeah. It's, I, uh, I, they had a seat sale on. After I booked the convention. You know what? I think I'm having, I think I'm going to be buying my ticket this year because I'm not, I'm not speaking. So I don't know if they're going to pay. Oh yeah. So I I don't know if I don't know. I'll ask. I'll ask Barry. Um, I was telling Adrian Robin Blumner, the CEO of um, of CFI, she sent me an email. She says, "Susan, I want you to present at the board meeting on June such and such at this time to this time. You have thirty minutes, okay?" <laughs> I love how she, she's so or she's like, "You're like, yes, ma'am." <laughs> well, I've never done that before. So I'm going to be that on Zoom. Yeah, thankfully. Otherwise, I had a flight to Buffalo. Yeah, so it's I'm not easy. Presenting to the board members, Leonard and all of them. And I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about. So I, I mean, it's going to be about what is going, what I do for CFI, not about any of the psychic stuff or anything like that. Nothing about what So we mean. have dates for uh, yeah. coming out. Yes. Oh, um, so if you're going to. Huh? You've got that the dates now? Yeah, I forgot I was gonna tell people. Yeah, you're sure. supposed to be season. Uh oh. but the thing is is Adrian's I mean, um Janine's only having a barbecue oh, on the okay. 20th of August. So they're gonna come out and go to Seattle first. Mm -hmm. So they have two days in Seattle and then a travel day to Portland, then a talk on August 18th in Portland. And a ghost investigative event in Ooh, Portland on the, on, on the 19th. And then on Sunday, they're going to come down here and we'll have a barbecue at our house. And then the 21st, they're going to leave or they're going to go. Well they, well, they left that kind of open. I said, yeah. if you want to go over and see Brian Dunning. I'll drive you over. You would drive him over? That's a long drive, Janine. Hmm. Yeah. It's How like far has been? Three hours. It's like That's three a long hours drive. over the band. Oh. That's really? a long drive. 
and they're going to go there and want to drink. Probably a thirty minute drive Sacramento. to her mailbox. You're going to Sacramento. That's three hours. I know, but yeah, no, that's a long drive. And and it's and it's beautiful. It's over the mountains. So we'd probably stay overnight there, um, and drive back the next day. So that would give them time. And there's a there's the High Desert Museum. They can go hang out with Brian Dunning and do what they want. I'd, there's plenty of things I'd love to do in Bend like go to the high desert museum oh i didn't realize that so what i told i was telling because i had a call with eric right after you did janine he planned uh -huh. it so that i would be right after because i really wanted to know what was going to happen and um uh they were thinking of flying out of eugene i suggested uh, eugene because it's so much easier drive to get to yeah why, why go back sometimes up to Portland? it's a lot more expensive you know, well, but yeah, but I, my said, place. I said, um, Bend, Oregon is beautiful. They would have a great time hanging out with, with him, but I don't know if the financial, if it's a, it's a good financial move for them to go all the way to Bend, spend a couple days with Brian Dunning, unless they do a talk over in Bend. That's what I, was I would just, if they wanted to see Brian, we'd just drive over there and they could either stay with Brian or they would stay with Brian, I'm sure. I'm going to stay at a hotel someplace and then drive back. What would be the cost? The cost would be being gone another two days. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. There's no cost involved yeah. in doing it. I'll just drive them over and drive them back. So I was thinking of going up there, but I, you know, I was thinking you were going to do a talk in Eugene, but. I mean, no. really, your yeah, barbecue is, is a talk. It's the same. It's the same thing. Everybody's going to get to meet Kenny Biddle, and it's a big deal. And it's a but fun the talks in in Portland. Portland's and that's an hour and a half from you. Portland, yeah, Portland's about an hour and a half from here too. I think of it as two hours to Portland because it's scary freeway driving. Well, so Whereas, the fun, driving I'm over to Brian's is driving over, you know, country that's, roads and that's mountains. Windy roads. So that's what I'm trying to decide. I, I'm going to think about it, but. I mean, you're welcome to come. We can camp yeah. on our back deck. I, yeah. Well, I'd love Corvallis. <laughs> so. They would need to. They would need to. Um, no, I'm going to stay in Corvallis if I stay somewhere. Oh, you're not camping on our back deck? No, I liked it, but I got bug bitten like crazy last time. That was fun, though, to sleep under the stars. I, really do. I sleep out there all the time. Oh. I sleep outside all summer. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. It's My problem probably is, um, well, there's one thing. is Mark's going to be performing at the Magic Castle. We don't know when, but he just got off of the phone with a guy, and they're trying to figure out when. So are they going to tell him this time when? He yeah, I know. <laughs> so whatever week that is, I will be in LA. That's funny. So I, I'm assuming it's going to be around August or September. So I don't know for sure, but um, I don't know. All right. Anyway, I, I want to come down when they do that again. And Susan, I, I be happy. I have another idea for how to increase people to come to your convention that I could would write a section on and tell you about if you're interested it worked for another national convention i know is and it, it strip teasing with, no it has to do with mobility and mentioning like where they can rent scooters and stuff like that some people don't come to conventions because they're concerned about the walking oh. and there are lots of organizations that rent these scooters like they have in the supermarkets and stuff and you can rent them and they deliver them to the hotel and it makes their life much easier because walking is an obstacle for people. And um, just by mentioning these things about people that have mobility issues or disabilities and having that, people who didn't think about coming may consider it because it, they look for things like that. So uh, down. I had never so I, considered that. I thought people with mobility issues knew how to find they just say they can't come. They just think, well, I can't. There, it's Las Vegas. There's a lot of walking. I can't do it. And so, um, and I would help kind of put a little resource together for you and like find an agency that rents and delivers to the hotel and uh, just to have that. And you don't do it, but you could just refer people to the idea and it opens up possibilities. Or it could be on the website. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm going to mention that to Brian Barry. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to see Lee. I'll see you Saturday. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Thank you for showing up. I hope we come back to our trivia things. We're 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 feels it's kind of weird. We're kind of weird, but that's okay. And so maybe I think I've met you at the Bay Area of Skeptics in the Pub. Oh, we showed up on Zoom. Is that true? Maybe not then. No. No, I don't think so. But he says he's oh, not okay. very comfortable. He's not um, real comfortable with Zoom. So he must you haven't been doing a lot on Zoom through the pandemic. We learned we learned how to use Zoom here when we started doing <laughs> trivia 160 games ago. Yep. And we've gotten really good at it. And each time part of my my method, not my method, part of my evil that plan is. is to I make everybody learn how to use Zoom really well. And I sign them different times. I'll assign them a different task. I'll say, okay, you're in charge of muting everybody, or you're in charge of you have to go from room to room to room. So everybody's got a real good understanding of how to use Zoom mm. in the last three years. So right. There's people that I remember starting, they were like, how do we share screen? What do I do? I have no idea. And then now they're like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Said I'm willing to learn. No, there you go. I mean, I do, you know, I do a little consulting work for AT&T, but they have all their internal systems and I'm familiar with those, but Zoom, I have, this is my first shot at it. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. I'm really impressed. Wow. The whole pandemic you managed to get through without using Zoom. That's wild. That's well, amazing. We, I have AT&T, but I, 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 like I have Zoom to send so out a Zoom thing, thing for a meeting tomorrow morning. What, Just Carl? Forgot. I say I, I like Zoom pretty much better than any other video conferencing stuff. I do. Yeah, better I than Microsoft Skype. Teams, it's better than Facebook. Yeah, yeah. I only use Zoom. Now. Well, I have an account, so that's the only thing. Thanks, you, James or Andy. Oh. Well, I get donations, so it's not just James or Andy, but he helped me. All right, y'all. So I'm good to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, Lee. Lee. Uh, I'll see you Saturday. Nice um, to meet your your parrots and birds. Kyle. Oh yeah, Kyle. Tell tell all your birds goodbye and good oh, night. I like your birds. And they have a nice night and everything. Okay, my. I'm gonna get this video up. Get back then. So. All right, y'all. Have fun. Have Thanks for hanging out. All right.